Hey, welcome back to the episode of the Saram Podcast. I'm your host, Juan, and as always, my co-host here with me. Hey, Trip. Hey, bud. How are you doing, man? I'm so good. Me too. We decided that we don't like each other, and so we're going to do the podcast as lovers now. Okay. okay. Instead of just likers. Um, so, we love each other. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah. So, this is, so this is a podcast for lovers, and as lovers, we watched all of this season of anime winter anime you guys 2020 and we're telling you all about it we watched it separately though but as lovers but as lovers that's interesting yeah trip did come into the room just being like hey by the way we're not friends anymore or i don't like us i don't we don't like each other anymore and i go fucking for a split second i was like oh we hit it we finally hit that threshold of us just not even liking each other anymore that's what happens took a while we got there though congratulations hey thanks man thanks thanks but yeah, uh, we're talking about so much fucking anime so much, today, you yeah. guys. And as we always recommend, watch four episodes of show before you give it like your final saying if you like it or yeah. not. Sometimes, but you, we don't do that. We don't do that for this. No. When you're watching thirty different shows, I don't know how many it is. It is but it's I always over say thirty. 30. Okay. It's over thirty. I counted. <laughs> Thank there's, you. There's like uh, there's like fourteen on Funimation and like thirteen or twelve on. And no, it's it's over it's over thirty. I don't know what the math is, but I counted. <laughs> like, uh, those I trying, numbers. I was trying to do the math, no, but I do. I remember yeah. counting through them. There's at least thirty two or thirty three shows. I uh, believe it. And uh, we just watched one episode of each, so we could kind of give you guys an idea of what they are. Mm-hmm. And you know, if it's for us, we'll kind of tell you. So if you agree with some things that we normally like, uh, maybe it's for you. Other things don't really like, and maybe it's still for you. Yeah. Every time we tell people to like get their own opinions, like go check it out for yourselves. Don't just listen to us. So what's the point of these fucking episodes if we're like, hey guys, but well, like some people, all these shows are really fucking bad. But like, hey man, you make might up like them. Yeah. Watch all twenty that sucked. I, don't well, know. The, the, like, I, I guess the plus side is that because we could, because we kind of give a like a quick shot of what the thing is. Yeah, it might just be like, hey, that is for me, and they check yeah. it out and that's at a the, glance. At a yeah. glance, right? Um, or, like, we'll give a poor description of it, and they go, these idiots don't know what they're fucking talking about. Yeah, which is what I assume we do every week. Mm-hmm. So we'll fun. do some more of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's our <laughs> that's our goal. Thank you guys for listening to what our goal is. Now let's get into the next thing. That'd be funny if that were, like, our mission statement. It's just like, yeah. yeah, that's our goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we do. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? That's it. Um, what you been up to, man? Real quick. Whew, that's, a, that's a doozy of a question. I don't know. Uh, it's been a fucking a wild week in my personal life, uh, but that's fine. And then playing video games, watching Weathering with you. Just so much fucking anime. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a big anime, anime boy lately, uh, so I'm into that. And now that I have a second monitor for my computer, I decided that I should definitely start streaming more and stop being such a bitch about it. So certain things I'll wind up streaming here and there, mm-hmm. like for realsies, because it's way easier for me when I have a second stream that I could actually look at stuff and I feel like I'm able to engage with people more and, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that's I'll super be doing cool. that a little bit more uh, lately and I'll tweet out whenever I do it. Okay. So that's the that's the deal there. You could watch me play games with uh, Juan's wife. Mm, if probably you want not. To. You don't want to do that. <laughs> did it the other day. It was great. You streamed it. Yeah. Oh man, did she say any bad words? Yeah, she said all of the bad words. Fuck. Yeah, that, that was one of them. Shit. No, actually, she didn't say that one. Who was I talking to the other day? We were talking about how great the letter F is, and uh, we're like, why? It's like, what's with the letter? That's that's what fuck starts with. And I was like, you know what? That is a good reason. That is a great reason to like the letter F. You don't need many reasons to like letters. I don't think not unless a, you're like not really a into writing why not i don't know it's just fucking so pretentious it makes a lot of different sounds i don't like it i like it mm. there you go g not a big fan of g g g fuck g yeah no we get rid of the g's a lot fucking k useless but fuggin's pretty good though. fuggin oh you do need a g there yeah you all right g there g can hang out yeah so yeah, uh, that's cool. I'm glad that you've been doing some streaming. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't usually right. I don't watch game streamers. I might watch it if you're doing it because yeah. like uh, like these. I, no, I I'll don't. just I'll start playing Fortnite and then you'll actually watch me. Dude, do uh, pocket tanks? I'll watch for sure. <laughs> Kyle said that Kyle uh, when we went to the movies. Yeah, uh, he's like, hey, we should stream video games or speedrun video games. Like I was like, Kyle, I don't play video games. And for a second, like I it was like a beat, like legitimately a beat. And I go, unless you want to speedrun pocket tanks <laughs> yeah. and then kyle goes oh my god i was about to say that <laughs> and imagine it's just like hitting hitting enter like go 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 <laughs> oh we won <laughs> you, you win is that you both win i don't know <laughs> okay we'll find out we'll find out 
Um, yeah, what have man, you been doing? I haven't been doing much either. I'm just like watching a lot of anime like you have. Name one. Weathering with you. Okay. Fuck. That was hard. <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Um, that happened, I think, last Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a movie we've been waiting for a while. I wanted, I wanted to review that for the podcast just to make it easy because I'm lazy. And then Trip's Dude, like, and Trip goes, can't. Trip goes, no, fuck you. We're doing the preview. Episode three of shit's already out, man. And I was like, fucking Christ, I guess. Yeah, Ugh. you guess. Of course you guess. Ugh. So um, as much as I want to talk about weathering with you, I mean, I, I will say I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was good. We'll get around to Go it. Go see it. We'll get around to talking about it up, uh, up, up and coming sometime. Uh, so We'll we, talk about it a little bit later today. We too. did that. Um, and then... Besides that, just like anime, doing homework and stuff, uh, doing some drawing. Yeah? What kind of yeah. things have you been drawing? Drew, drew a robot. Yeah. Well, I drew a robot a while ago. I colored the robot. I'm not a big... Uh, you don't like colors. I don't know. I like yeah, colors. You see things in black and white, <laughs> and that's all you like. I am colorblind. Uh, red, green, a little red, green colorblind. Just a touch. I'm going to make that very just clear. Just a tiny fucking so bit. Some people think when I say I'm colorblind, means I can't see colors. That's not true. You choose not to I see colors. I choose not to see yeah. colors. You can. You don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, that's, <laughs> the thing is, like, when you tell people you're colorblind, they go, they, they point at a color and go, what is this? And I go, you, and they go, what is this? And I go, shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. That's not what that means. Yeah. It just means that Christmas is a really hard time <laughs> for really you. It's a really hard time. <laughs> Because when red and green are too close to each other, uh, I can't really distinguish them. Or, like, it's a blur or whatever. So, I can't drive a train, which really bones me out. It's a fucking bummer. Can't be a pilot. Never want to be a pilot. It's fine. (laughs) But I can't be a train conductor, which really bones me out. You can still be, like, a a pirate. I talked about this. I think I talked about this when uh, when, when I I was was diagnosed. Yeah, Yeah. I remember being, like, not caring about not being able to be a pilot. And then the doctor's like, you also probably can't be a train conductor. And you're like, and that wasn't an option until now. And I'm offended. I was so devastated. Yeah. I was like, wait, now I can't have that now. I was like, oh, I could wear a little train. Could, you know, could a little hat. Could well, I, I think it's also... <laughs> but it's also a matter of like, we know how intense being a pilot is. Yeah. You're fucking taking a giant piece of metal, chucking it in the sky. <laughs> and just like and doing make, your thing. Guiding man. it, making sure it doesn't yeah. hit the ground. That's scarier than... This thing is on tracks. Mm-hmm. You hit go. Yeah, like yeah. that's that's in our head how being a yeah, train exactly. conductor Even works. Though it's right? a lot harder. Oh than yeah, that. it's for sure way harder. But that's just kind of how it is. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a lever. Maybe it's a button. You know, I, I don't know. How I watched. It works. It, I watched. I've watched Palin one. The taking of Palin one two three. I've watched Train to uh, Busan or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I've Busan. Pff, Busan. Yeah. I've seen fucking Snowpiercer. I get uh-huh. trains, bro. I understand them. They're easy. What about uh, Polar Express? Never dude. seen it. Okay. Actually, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's funny. I was going to make. I was going to say never seen it to whatever you said. Yeah, I know. But I've actually never seen that. <laughs> I tried to choose one you hadn't seen, um, but I was hoping that you would go the other way. And be fucking like, so quickly derailed. Well, okay. So the thing, your is, eyes. Suck. What I was talking Let's about get was back to it. I I like to draw, um, and I usually avoid coloring because I don't think I have the best like uh, your choices color palette. I think. Yeah. Like I I can appreciate color um, when I see people that do stuff in color and so i used to just always draw with pencil and like do gradients of like grays with charcoal or like graphite and stuff um but now i'm using markers because i really like like clean outlines but then i really like i noticed that like my work is in just really dark black and then white paper and so i've like slowly been like okay i'll add colors to things and it's been a struggle for me because i don't really like it and i feel like oh i ruined this drawing or whatever uh but i've been doing it more and more because i was like I got. I want to get better at this. I got some really cool pens from you. Yeah. I got some really cool pens from Eliza. You got lots of cool pens. You got a lot of cool pens. Um, and I had some cool pens myself. And so I was like, cool, I'm drawing this robot. And I was like, I'll add some colors in the shoes. It's like, good. I'll add some colors in this car. That's crushing. It's good. I'll add some colors in the cloud. It's good. And I go, I'm done. And I go, fuck. It's just a white robot. I was like, I'll try to make it gray. Let's fucking, fucking cross my fingers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because I also like working with paper. I mean, I also use my iPad, but paper's fun. It feels like something, something comforting about Tangible's it. Tangible is good. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, all right. I worked on it. And I was like, I'm done. And then I, I kind of take a break and I look back and I, I could, I could do some more here, you know? And uh-huh. then I go, I was, it's always me trying to push it, but not get too far. Yeah. And then last night I was like, I'm done. I did it. And I was like, I looked at the colors. I'm like, you know what? I don't fucking hate these. These aren't that bad. Cool. I'm posting this, dope, posting this on Instagram. I go to bed and then I, I like roll around for a couple minutes and I open my eyes and I go, you know what I should have done? I should have had some tread at the bottom of shoes. It's too white. And I go, oh, it's too late. Posted it. I said it was done. Don't care anymore. I'll probably still add it, um, but I probably just won't repost it. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, um, doing some drawings, which again is a, something I like to do to like, I don't know, just decompress. Yeah. It, it makes me feel good. I know some guy hit me up the other day. 
this is really surprising for the first time he goes hey man i like your work great he's like what's your commission rate and i go i don't have one <laughs> i was like <laughs> i go you say a hundred thousand dollars yeah. and they're like well, that's a little bit out of my price range they're i like, like well, what are you thinking i looked at his page or whatever he's like a rapper or some sort of bullshit and i was like yeah. cool and i told him like hey man be really honest with you no one's ever asked me to do commission work for them so i don't have a rate um i also realistically like i don't do this for money i just kind of do it for fun uh if you have like like a project that you're doing i'd be down to like to hear it and it's a, if it's something like i like maybe i could come up with something and like you know we could talk about a price um, if you're more willing to like, let me do what I want to do, like, then the price will be a lot lower, right? Like if, and if you like, you has to be the specific thing, I go, well, okay, well then I'll, maybe I'll do it. Cause it's, I don't, it's not yeah. like I'm doing it for fucking money. And then he goes, cool. You know, he has a podcast. I didn't look at the podcast. I don't, I didn't want to know. <laughs> I didn't want to be a part of that. I didn't want to tell him, Hey, I have a podcast too. Yeah, he, yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. he was like, Hey man, I'm, I don't have any projects coming out right now. Like music wise for like an album cover, like a, a cover for a song. He was like, but I do have a podcast. Um, thinking about getting a logo and i go logos are really hard so i was like hey man that's super cool i'm not interested in doing logos just because like there's a lot of people who do logos and really well if you do it's like at one point have a project with like a you need an album cover or like a single cover like let me hear the song you know hit me up and maybe i can do something and he's like he hit me back up was like really appreciated i was like cool i was like that was nice that was fun someone like appreciating your work but then i was like God, I hope he doesn't send me this song. It's just like this horrible trap fucking bullshit. And he's just yeah. like, what do you think, man? And I go, sounds like you you're know, a horrible artist. It sucks. Yeah. It's fine. What do you want me to draw? <laughs> Piece of shit. Here you go. But yeah, that was. So what is it? Oh, he, he doesn't have anything. No, yet. he didn't send it. No, anything. no, because um, like you said, he didn't, he didn't have any like current music that he was working well, I on. I thought this was like, you know, back. No, this that. happened like last, Damn. like two days ago. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. So yeah. So I'm just kind of, so that was nice. In a nice and bad at the same time. Like, this is interesting. It's flattering at let's, least. Yeah, yeah, let's see where this goes. It'd be cool if someone who's like really talented is like, hey, you want me to it's like oh, in, a, in a fucking heartbeat, Mr. Obama. <laughs> little, little Obama. <laughs> yeah, just little Obama. Um but yeah, man, that's it. Honestly. It's just been super chill mode right now. I'm into that. Hey man, do you want to talk about anime? Have you watched anime other than like all this shit? No. Other than Weathering with you? No. I have mm. literally not watched any mm. anime. Have you? Looks like you're not a real gamer. Have you made time to watch actual anime? No. Cool. Let's <laughs> talk about the fucking news then, you asshole. <laughs> I would have been surprised if you're like, yeah. If you're like, yeah, man, I got around to watching some more fucking, you know, March Comes in like a Lion. I was like, you dickhead. Like, you got so many other things to watch. <laughs> no, man, I didn't do that. Um, right. I feel like it did something weird. I don't know. I Animes played for weebs. I played the you know? uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Oh, I, yeah? I used to play it a long time ago when it first came out. And then I got a message saying, like, hey, man, it's the 10-year... No, it's not the 10-year. It's like a three-year anniversary. We're going to give you a free card. And I was just like, oh, cool. I'll, I'll log in. After, like, 20 minutes of downloading the new, like, updates, yeah. I got the free card. And I was like, I'll do a couple duels. I was like, this is yeah. hard. This is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, man. Synchro <sighs> summon, fucking pendulum swinging, so fucking... Goddamn ugh. much. It's hard. Oh. It's hard. <laughs> It is. Video games are hard. Yeah. I've never played one in my life. AGDQ happened. It was pretty cool to watch. That's kind of like an anime. I think we talked about that last time. Yeah. And it was still going on. It was, was done last know. time. I don't know. I've been watching <laughs> VODs. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun to catch up on. I watched the... I watched someone... What is it, what's it called when you do a, a Pokemon run, but when someone dies? Nuzlocke. Yeah. So yeah. So this girl animated her Nuzlocke run. Uh-huh. It was really fun. That's pretty cool. And she's just like, and you know, she added her characters, all the characters had nicknames and stuff. And it was like 16 minutes long. And I mean, I like playing the Pokemon game. I don't like yeah. watching Pokemon too much. Sure. But I was like, this is fun. This this looks like she took a lot of like time into yeah, doing this. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's also playing the game, which also takes time. Um, I couldn't tell you what her name was, but it was like, it was very like, very, very simple drawings, but really clean animation. I was like, cool. This is dope. How'd you come across that? facebook that's the way it goes man yeah well like i'll watch one video it's like cool i'd like to see fucking conor mcgregor punch a guy in the face and then like i kind of start scrubbing and it's like and it just ends up being weep stuff but the further down i go that's the way it goes or man. a bunch of rooster teeth shit i don't know what the fuck it is but i get so much rooster teeth stuff it's because you watch red versus blue I on loop fucking don't know like and it's <laughs> you like watch so much root no and it's nothing against rooster teeth i just not really like into their stuff yeah but i get so many rooster teeth videos and like achievement hunters and i mm-hmm. like the, I, Facebook's formula is wrong. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. It's weird. Um, it, 
like I watch a lot of Funhouse mm-hmm. and I watch Sugar Pine Seven, um, but I don't watch a whole lot of other Rooster Teeth. Every once in a while, I might watch something that's like a crossover type thing, mm-hmm. check somebody else out. But in general, those are the only two channels that I watch. But I don't receive any any like I watch Funhouse every day, and you know, I don't any, receive any kinds of Rooster Teeth ads. I don't know what it is, man. I think they really want other me suggestions and stuff. What I really want, what I really like for like maybe six months, I was getting a bunch of like. It was always like a live championship streaming of some very odd game, like uh-huh. odd sport. Yeah. Like, you know, cheese bowling or like fucking air yeah. shooting, you know, like okay. that fucking anime. And I was just like, like ski ball, shuffleboard. Um, I really enjoyed those. Whenever I got a really good one, I would just like share instantly to my page. Yeah. And every now and then I get like, if someone would be like, hey man, good, good on you. Yeah, I man. don't get those anymore. Those are really fun. Yeah. <laughs> those are fun. I, I always love when somebody posts like a dart video <laughs> yeah. and it's like, you know exactly where they're supposed to hit. They hit a couple of times on the 20, but like in the middle mm-hmm. and then they go over to like an 18 and every single time that I see it, I'm like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> just. You go, know yeah, what's gonna happen? You go, These are sports, bro. This, yeah. is, this is what I'm fucking talking about. I watched bowling, and I'm like, that was great. Yeah, good job, guy. billiards. I saw a pretty cool billiards. Billiards is always cool. It's it's always great when they do the one that isn't like just like normal, like yeah, where they like it's a single person that's trying playing, to hit yeah. them in like yeah, order. and they're like solid colors. I was like, oh, look at that pink ball. What a nice looking pink ball. Be such a shame if something happened. To that oh, pink ball's gone. It's gone. Shattered. Yeah. So that being said, let's, let's yeah, get into Facebook, the news. man. Facebook. <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Yeah, news. Okay, so this week in news, I don't have a whole lot for you, but that's that's okay. We don't need much. Uh, So, I don't know if you've heard this, but Maiden Abyss is receiving a sequel series since it's... Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) Shocking. Yeah, it's crazy. Shut your horn Uh, up. Since the third movie has debuted in Japan, at the end, they were like, by the way, there's going to be a sequel. And then uh, they put out a promotional video for it, and, you know, it's... Since I've read Maiden Abyss, mm-hmm. I know what's going to happen in these in the movie that we're going to see. What right? a douche. Just like me when and I go to My Hero. I'm like, I know what's no, happening. And if the movie concludes one layer of the uh, <laughs> of the abyss that deals with whatever his fucking face is, that's the big evil guy that mm-hmm. made Nanachi and whatnot, um, and me, D, if it concludes with the end of his story... And there's going to be a sequel series to it? Oh, man. We get, like, eight episodes. Oh, really? oh, <laughs> it's yeah. going to be an eight-episode season. Okay. You know, there's, like, not a whole lot more. Maiden Abyss comes out very infrequently. The next book that's coming out comes out, uh, like, March or something like that. And it's been a few months since we got the, our last one. It Like, it's a very slow-moving manga. But, hey, man, the movie and the, the anime sequel series or whatever is gonna be great i'm excited it's been a while since we saw made in abyss yeah uh, it's been a couple of years yeah that was such a good show i just kind of find um come out of nowhere i feel like yeah and a lot of people don't like it which i can totally respect not liking made in abyss like you're wrong but you know i respect you <laughs> uh but it just it did something so different than other shows i think so i'm very happy to see that it's continuing cool. on Next up for news, Weathering with You. Don't know if you heard of it. Little Makoto Shinkai movie. Same guy who made uh, Your Name. No Never big deal. heard of it. So Weathering with You was number two in the U.S. box office on its opening weekend, which is fucking cool. Behind. And it, yeah. Behind Dr. Doolittle. I, I don't care. Oh, you don't know? I was curious. I it's thought, number two. I'm not a news boy. I'm I just the guy who says I, the I just thought like the article would say, hey, it's behind Bad Boys 3 or something like that. I just didn't give a fuck, so I didn't hey, it's fine. read about it's fine. that. Sorry. I, didn't I just mean got to, the good things. I didn't okay? mean to derail you. I'm sorry. And then, uh, yeah, it earned $1.58 million in a single day. That's awesome. Yeah, it made like over five million dollars in the u.s theaters that's crazy to me dude little spoilers for weathering with you they all die in the end that's not true um in the end they did like, go to shinkai so they did like the uh like a director yeah but only for two nights yeah which felt really fun i like i really i always enjoy that oh me too um one of the best little snippets was like he would always kind of he would say something like yeah i'm makoto shinkai you know you know i made weathering with you he's like i also made a movie called your name that people really liked in north america to go i go 
fucking asshole. You know, like <laughs> like this this movie called Your Name. Everybody uh, fucking knows so what Your funny. Name is. It's but I it was thought it was really interesting. I don't know if you noticed this. Uh, I guess spoiler for the end oh, the, credits yeah, interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they they showed different clips of all of his movies From, and yeah. they kind of talked about them a little bit. And they cho- uh, they chose to show a lot of the children who chase lost voices mm-hmm. as the clips, and they didn't once show Garden of Words. Which Not is, a single time. <laughs> it's because Garden Words has a lot of rain, and yeah, this one has exactly. a lot of rain. That's what I thought was it's gonna so confuse funny. People. Yeah. Um, no, that was uh, that's just like, I mean, just like a really weird humble brag. Like you know, yeah, I thought it was hilarious. You know, they like, said that. Yeah, I made this movie called Your Name that people really liked in North America. Ever heard of it? I was like, no, tell me more. Kyle actually had never seen it, which is funny because I thought he was joking at first. Yeah, he's never and he, seen he's it. Like, no, I haven't seen it. I was like, what? Why? What's wrong with you? I know there are a couple of days where I've been like, you want to watch this? Nah. All right. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Well, he doesn't like to watch a lot of things on his own, so. Fuck. Damn, Kyle. Get on your shit. We should give him <sighs> that for a shit show next time. Yeah? Like, hey, man, watch, watch your this name. movie. It's, you know, it sucks. Good luck. Yeah. Go for it. What else you got? <sighs> Netflix. Woo! Netflix! All right. So, Netflix, uh, of every country excluding North America and Japan, is going to be streaming Studio Ghibli films from here on out. Uh, so congrats to everyone that has Netflix in every country. Except but for us. North American countries and Japan. Um, pretty cool, though. We got it on HBO Plus, so it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, Japan probably has like a Ghibli streaming service anyways. Yeah. HBO Max, right? And uh-huh. We talked, I mean, we talked about this a little bit beforehand. I remember that popped up and people were super pumped. And I didn't even look at it. And then you said, the, oh, it's only other parts of the world. I go, that makes perfect sense. Because Netflix is Netflix. <laughs> and honestly, we're not going to watch those anytime soon. I've I s- own a lot. I've seen a lot of them. I, there's some that have, I've missed some, but I'm just like, yeah, I'll watch them eventually. It's a fucking big deal. Yeah. Cool shit. Yeah. Whatever. What else you got? Congrats, Netflix people. Fruits Basket second season is going to begin airing in spring of 2020. Whoa, 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 whoa. New visuals and stuff are going off. Check it out. It's all over the internet. We're talking about it nonstop. Uh, you could actually follow our twitter feed where i just post updates about fruits basket mm-hmm. i got my fruits basket like, every uh, five minutes of the day i'm working on my fanfic it's pretty good yeah, it is pretty good yeah i did include <laughs> myself in it yeah i am the rooster because he has not ah, popped up okay did you know that it's actually a thing yeah i did not know that like sierra because like they're all zodiacs and i was yep. just like hey where's the rooster she's like doesn't exist i go fucking shit man what the hell that's how it goes sometimes I see some rooster. i'd like to see some cock let's see season two Let's go. Let's go season two. Show <laughs> us that cock. We want to see it. That's all the news I have for you. Do you want more? No. Oh, good, because I didn't have any more, but I could have found some. Don't want it. Okay. Let's oh, fucking no. do it, man. <sighs> all right. This week's topic. Winter 2020 anime preview. Uh, we're going to talk about all the different platforms that we watched things on and where we watched it exactly um, and where you can watch it or whatever. Mm-hmm. There was, like, nothing on High Dive at uh, all. I want to bring that up first. Some of the stuff on High Dive is actually also just on other platforms. Yeah, well, that's, which, yeah. Which is, which is, like, cool. I'm already going to watch it on this platform. Yeah. Because it's there. There was nothing exclusive to High Dive mm-hmm. this season, which was kind of a weird thing, but whatever. I'm not surprised, because uh, the powerhouse of anime has been lacking lately. <laughs> yeah. Their they fucking have... app won't work. Nope. Their fucking website's shit right now. Mm-hmm. I'm... F- they're... They're slacking. I'm fucking pissed, guys. <laughs> Somebody's a little bit upset right now, but it's fine. We'll get him a bottle and a little bit of candy Jesus and get him going. Uh, yeah, man. So we didn't watch anything on High Dive. So for those of you out there with High Dive that were <laughs> eagerly waiting, like, what am I going to be able to watch? Just whatever. I don't know. How cool would it be if, like, I got us, like, High Dive shirts and hats and, like, we repped it super hard. We're just like, yeah. <laughs> like, no, like, like they were a sports team. Would you yeah. rep it with me? Yeah, for sure. Dope. Fuck we're it. High Dive's dive. dope. We're getting High Dive matching tattoos. We love High Dive here. It's great. <laughs> um, high Dive's super inconsistent. Has had great shows, have select things that it's other platforms $5. don't have. It's really cheap. High Dive's great. We support it 100%, but also... Pick up your shit, High Dive. Come on, man. Come on, <laughs> Fuck. Um, there was nothing exclusive to Hulu. Mm-mm. Yeah. So we're just talking about Amazon Prime, Funimation, and Crunchyroll. I know that there's some stuff on YouTube. Like uh, I joked with you, I saw. Uh, yeah, I saw this. There stuff. was Pokemon uh, is doing some series right now. So if you are interested in Pokemon, then please go and watch it on their YouTube. Um, something about Twin Wings. I, I don't remember the name of it exactly. I didn't watch it, so I'm going to watch it, just not as part of this show. Okay. 
And then there's another show that's just a YouTube exclusive that I didn't want to fuck with. No. I was just like, nah. <laughs> okay. Is YouTube, like, is there a streaming thing called, like, YouTube, it's YouTube Red or something like that? Well, certain things. Okay, is there more than, <laughs> is there more fucking? Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just basic-ass YouTube. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't fuck with that. Nah, me either. I wasn't going for that. So uh, we're talking about Amazon Prime first. Yeah. We're going to talk about a little show called Pet. It was supposed to air last season, but it got pushed off to this season. Uh, it's made by Gino Studio and is based off of a manga. That's funny. that I didn't know that that the little bit about getting pushed back. I wonder what pushed it back. Maybe to work on the quality of the drawings. I have no idea because it was set to air. And I'm like, where the fuck is this goddamn show? Wasn't and it? I kept getting so mad. I'm like, there's one more show that I'm supposed to watch, but I can't find it anywhere. And of course, it's just called Pet. Yeah. And Amazon's like, yeah, we don't have anime. Did so, you, like, Did you mean Pet Cemetery? Did you mean Pet Detective? Did you mean like, <laughs> Secret Life of Pets? You know, like, it, it, it <laughs> yeah. does. Yeah. Every fucking time. And then you're like, no, it's an anime. And it's like... Oh, you fucking loser. Here. They go, we got it in the back. Give me a second. <laughs> so if you can't find it, you have to be like really tricky about mm-hmm. it. Long story short, we watched this show. And right off the bat, I'll tell you, I want to see more. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if this show is like good or not. Yeah, well, I didn't watch this. I, I watched as much as I could. And then I let you know what I got to. And you and then you said, you have to watch Pet. And I yeah. was like, fuck, dude, I don't want to watch Pet. I got so many other things to do. I just and need you to go, talk to you about it. He's like, you got to watch it. So I, I ended up watching it. You described it as like a psychological thriller. I think you also enticed me by saying that the intro was done by the same guys that did uh, what, 20, 91, 90, days, 91 days, which it is. It's a good and intro. And it's really good, yeah, right? Yeah. I was like, this I was jamming bitch. the music in the show. I was okay with well, like well, when you start it, there's no intro. And I was like, this uh-huh. fucker lied to me. It's like the son <laughs> of a bitch. And then the intro comes in after like this. And I go, what a fucking bop. This is great. Yeah, it's great. I don't know what the dude. It's like TK from the signal or something mm-hmm. is the name of the band. I don't know. Somebody correct me. I'm sorry. Uh, and a, maybe signals the song. I don't know. Anyways, uh, he has this really like whiny kind of like high pitched voice that he does every once mm-hmm. in a while. And I fucking love it. It's good. And it goes along with this like really clean sounding guitar and like, I don't know, man, it's just a good rock. Yeah. So it's good it, yeah, it was really good. So obviously we have a lot of talk to you, so we don't want to break <sighs> down every episode, like, you know, yeah. bit by bit, but the gist of it is like. There's this world where these people have these, like, psychological powers or some sorts. Yeah. And it so starts off really, really scary, actually. Like, really dark. Really fucked up. But in, like, a... This isn't as fucked up as I thought kind of way. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's... it's Like, we've seen some fucked up shit. Yeah. But this is, like, oh, this is really fucked up visuals and, like, some really dark topics. It's And then you're, like, oh, this is a manifestation of this person's feelings inside of this inside kid's head. In their mind, That's yeah. affected by some weird psychic abilities mm-hmm. that allow him to see uh, inside of, like, other people's thoughts and emotions and their just consciousness, I think. Which was which is kind of trippy because at first you're, like, oh, this kid has some sort of disability. He's probably yeah. like, autistic or something. They essentially said he's severely autistic. I think I need to put him in a home. I don't know if I could take care of him anymore. And then some guy comes in and goes like, hey, I know what your problem is. Or problem. I think I know what, I know he what might the be issue one is, of right? Them. I'm going to help this kid. And yeah. he, he does. And then we get a flash forward to like this completely different place. You know, like time has passed or something. Mm-hmm. Um, this guy. It was a little bit unclear. It was but we very, figured it out. Yeah, it was, was kind of unclear. Like we weren't really know wh- who where our main characters were. And just we know that like this guy was doing a job for somebody and he watches like a murder happen. And he's like super, you know, scared about it. He confronts yeah. the person because he does some shady, shady shit on the side too. And this guy, like the guy does some shady shit. Um, his boss, this guy smoking cigarettes, is just like. Yo, bro, watch this crazy shit. He teleports or something, which is really scary. Yeah. Very well done, I feel like. Um, and he's just like, I'm going to fuck your shit. I'm going to fuck his shit up. And I was like, oh, no, he's going to fuck his shit up. And he does. This guy goes like fucking ballistic. He's like seeing like random crazy shit. Like mm-hmm. there's a big eyeball on the wall. He sees a, bunch, a couple guys like licking each other. He sees some guy shoot his head, like his brains out. And I go, yeah. It's like a whole ride, you know? Yeah. No, he straight up turns somebody into like the worst form of schizophrenia that exists, mm-hmm. where he's just paranoid about everything. And he's like, Okay, so I'm going to tell people that I'm going here, but I'm actually going here. And then he gets these notes that say, like, we know hey, this yeah. is your ticket to, to the place that you said you were going to yeah. go. And then on the back, it's like, we know you're going yeah. to this place, actually. It's, like, super freaky. And it really gave me this great feeling of unease, mm-hmm. which shows can't do that that well, especially not on a first episode. Yeah. But they established enough freaky things going on that it felt like it was just something special. It, yeah. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It kind of gave me vibes of like Kokoko, you know? Like yeah, Kokoku, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. that weird, it's like, it's just 
something's based in reality and then some supernatural thing happens. And I was just it like, gave me that exact same feeling. And that's why I'm like, I want you to yeah. see this so that I can know we can talk if about we're it, on yeah. the same page. And the, the gist of it was like um, – this guy, again, so he kind of gets his brain warped, and then we see that there's a bunch of people working together um, in some sort of, like, criminal underground using these powers to, like, yeah. take advantage of people and do crimes and stuff. And it was, like, so it's this weird amalgamation of the psychological thriller with, like, um, you know, this criminal organization. And we don't actually know who the main character is or who the good guys are. Because like, yeah. it's just, it's, it was very quick. It it's was like weird. This, it's, like, a kind of like a dark slice of life. And it was felt like there might be a plot. I don't know if there is. I feel like there probably is. But from, based on the first episode, aside from the animation, everything else stands tall. Yeah, exactly. Like, my biggest deal, like, my biggest complaint was, like, there's just frames that are just drawn poorly. There's, like, some places where, like, animation is lazy. Yeah. And, like, the art style isn't the nicest. Like, it, like. But it's fine. It gets the job done. We're not does. saying it's, like fucking distracting yeah exactly um and i think it's just because like maybe it's not like a super great you know studio mm-hmm. but i mean we haven't heard of them really but yeah. what is but what is you know the fucking thing that we do enjoy is like the story's interesting at least it's so intriguing and i'm captivated no to, to watch happen. some more so this is a show that i think i'm gonna keep watching at least yeah. until like something bad happens where i go up oh, over it you know i feel like it would be a really trippy manga too mm-hmm. so i'm into it i want to see more yeah um Next up, we're talking about Funimation now, because there was only one thing on Amazon Prime. Uh, so Funimation, we're going to start off with A3, made by uh, in conjunction with 3 Hertz and PA Works. It's based off of a game. Bet you would have never thought that you were the girl that's gathering together a theater troupe, and you were going to make them all do things. So this show is... It looks fine. Yeah. It... It has characters in mm-hmm. it, and they all have different personalities, very tropey kind of personalities. But the unique thing is everyone wants to do theater in some way. This dude's an actor. That dude wants to make, like, props or whatever. That dude wants to write. Like, everyone has a different role to fill in this acting troupe. It's kind of like the not best. It's like the not as good version of uh, fucking Shirbako, where they all want to mm-hmm. make an anime, and they all go on to do different things of it. it but yeah. it's... But it's in it's my opinion, hour. yeah, it's like, in my opinion, it's not as captivating. We're like, not my, at all. I'm watching it the whole time just because of the name. I'm just like, this is a fucking idol show. This yep. has to be an idol show. I've seen Where so are they many. Gonna sing? I've seen so many idol shows this season. You know, I'm just like waiting, waiting, and I go, oh, acting. Oh, cool. Like that was the only saving grace. I was like, this is a yeah. different. I haven't seen this before. It subverted my expectations, yeah. but it didn't change them. <laughs> no, yeah, I, <laughs> this show's not for me. I don't think so either. I don't think I'm gonna watch this, and it's not like anything. I, the boys weren't that hot no, either, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And they were fine. And that's the thing. There's a lot of shows this season with like a bunch of fuck boys. Where it's yeah. like, yeah, who cares about the plot? They look sexy as fuck. If you're if you're that kind of person that likes those kind of shows with like hot boys and stuff, I don't know. If there's hotter boys you, out there. Yeah. And you know, it's not for me. It might be for someone else. Uh, but there was anything that would make me come back for like Three a second Hertz episode. And PA works though, right? Maybe like something really trippy happens. Like you know, like. <laughs> Episode two, there's a murder, you know? <laughs> so we'll be keeping our eye out. And if there's a murder in episode two, we're going back. I told you that's always like my, one of my dreams of like watching like a best story. It's an awesome love story. Everything's great. Maybe it's a rom-com and then like boom, <laughs> fucking horrible thing happens and it turns into like a fucking psychological yeah. murder mystery thing or something. Yeah. How great would that be? The best. Let's do it. All right. So next we're going to do that exact thing with Smile Down the Runway. What? The runway. Nailed it. Mm-hmm. First try. Go ahead and edit that out for me really quick. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dude, it sounds so much better now. <laughs> Saved by Azola. It's based off of a manga. And let me tell you, I was kind of excited about this really? when it was first announced. Okay, when it was first announced. Because <laughs> <laughs> they announced it and they were like, this is an anime about fashion shows and about like runway models and shit. And I'm like... Yeah. That sounds interesting. I mean, America's Next Top Model was a whole thing, and yeah. like I kind of had fun with that. And Project fan, Runway was kind of cool, too. Of, you're a fan of RuPaul and his shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's whatever. Yeah. And then uh, this show came around, I'm like, if it's an anime, they might do some cool things. They might have good characters. They could have. It's kind of boring. I feel like they're going for it, but like it doesn't have enough there. It's like... It's a really light level of drama. Yeah. You know, and the thing, I guess that is enticing or interesting, the, the concept. Because uh, I, remember, yeah. I remember hearing about, hey, an anime about ballroom dancing. And I go, that sounds dumb. I want to watch that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so that's like, kind of the same feeling that I got. Not that committed to it, though. No, the main gist of it is this, this girl, you know, she's a model, you know, and she works for her dad's 
a company or whatever. Mm-hmm. She wants to be at Fashion Week in France or Paris. Uh, yeah, in Paris. She Paris. wants to be in the Paris Fashion Week. Which is a huge thing, yeah. you know. Uh, so, she's short. That's yep. the, the biggest caveat. She was on track. She's a really pretty lady. Uh, turns out she's not that she's big. She's not tall enough. She's not the right height to rock down the runway. And so she gets fired and she meets a designer who wants to become, you know, like a huge fashion designer. Yeah. And so like, cool, they're going to team up to make it happen. And then she's like... But I'm not gonna credit him. Yeah. <laughs> like totally doesn't credit him mm-hmm. when people ask, like, "Oh, who are, who who are, you, are you wearing? wearing? Like, what is this?" And she's like, uh, "It's my dad's, and I work for my dad, so yeah. over there." And then this kid gets fucking thrown off to the side. But then because she caused a whole fiasco by lying about the clothes, and everyone's calling like, "I need this fucking outfit." Then uh, it wound up being like, "Okay, well, this is the kid that made it," and the dad's like, "Cool, I'm gonna give this kid a job." Good job yeah. And that was the end of the first episode. Honestly, the way everything happens and wraps up just feels like it, it's, it's luring me in. Uh, yeah, it, it's just like, hey, man, we got kind of a cool concept, but we're not really going to try with it. So whatever. Yeah, I'm not I'm not, I'm not feeling it. it just. It I mean, maybe the, the beginning of it, they were just like, well, we want a story to tell. And we just need to get there. Let's just like I feel do like, it. Right? I feel like it got there already. It's just like, cool. She's back working for her dad and she's this guy's working in fashion i go right but that wasn't the story to tell instead the story to tell was like this whole other thing and i'm like but if you treated this with like a four episode arc i would watch this show it also started <laughs> off with her being like i'm gonna walk to, i'm walking down the runway it took us so long to get here and then right. it goes oh this is the like kind of like the fucking was it carolyn tuesday yeah. moment and it's like fucking flashback to like 10 years ago go oh i don't care I don't right care. just Whatever. <laughs> I guess we keep it was, for some reason it was just so much I don't care. And I don't know if it's because we came off of a show that was just like that. Yeah. Where it was like, I I finally fucking did it. And then you see them and they how they it. fucking did it. And then you're like, cool. Now I get it. And we get another show exactly the they same. They changed the know. world in seven minutes, dog. <sighs> we are the world. We are the people. All that shit. Hey, man. 22-7. You didn't watch it, but watch I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. It's 22-7. Non bon no nijuni. Uh, it's by A1 Pictures, and it's other. It's some other source. Don't know what it is. It's not a light novel. It's not a novel. It's not a game. It's not a manga. It's is not it a original manga. It's not an original. It's an other. So I, whenever I... <laughs> oh, I got it. Anyway, okay. other is... It's like a crossover. It's a pachinko machine. It's a pachinko <laughs> machine. That's what it is. I'm like, yeah, let's fucking make it off of this pachinko machine. Um, anyways... The wall. <laughs> yeah. So this, this anime was interesting. It starts off with this character that has like no confidence and always looks down and she like is clearly very shy and uncomfortable at work and stuff. Um, she's just an outcast essentially. And then you see her at home and she's very comfortable at home and like loves her family so much and she's happy and she smiles and she's a totally different person. And, uh, she gets a letter in the mail that says, Hey, uh, come to this idol audition thing. Meet us at the zoo in front of the gorillas and we'll fucking jam. And she's like, what? This is a joke, right? Eh. Well, maybe it's not. Whatever. What's it hurt? I'll go. And then uh, a bunch of other girls are there for the exact same thing. Because, sure, yeah, they're all at the audition. And then they're talking. And they're making jokes. And everyone's got different personalities. And the personalities feel a little bit anime-y over the top. Like, you got the cute girl that's really enthusiastic about shit. You have the one that's more standoffish and is, like, kind of bitchy. You've got the super nice one that just wants everyone to be, like, helpful and helped. And You got the Lolita. You got the yeah. Sundre. You got the fucking Tomboy. You cross them all off. It's nice. all good. We're going to have a great idol group is the point. Um, so there are eight of them. And then this dude comes up and is like, all right, you guys, I gathered you all here for a reason. They're like, what the fuck are you, you giant creepy guy inside of this nice looking men in black suit? Like, it vibes started getting a little bit weird. And then we already saw that the the main character is like pretty pretty down in the dumps and feeling pretty shitty lately, which that's nothing too telling yet. Can't figure out what the show's gonna be, if it's gonna be her finding that she likes being an idol and becoming happy or what's going on. And then they come back to this facility that looks really, really nice and uh it's super professional. They get all these like special passes and stuff scanned in, and they're having a great time. And then they go in the elevator and they go down to the bottom floor. And it's this creepy, like, kind of gothic-looking cellar room. And the guy's like, 
all right, this is where you guys are staying. And they're like, oh, cool. This is an interesting place. Okay. Like a little bit hesitant, but like, sure, man. Fuck yeah. And he's like, this whole facility is for you guys to utilize. You know, we have all these different places for you to work out and train and eat and sing and practice and everything. You got a dance studio. Everything you guys need is all here, but you live down here. And then they're checking it all out. I'm like, okay, this is cool. And he's like, this is the wall. This is a very important wall. This wall tells us things, and we do those things. Mm-hmm. You're like, hang on, hang on a second here. And the wall kind of looks like this really detailed, um, almost like skull with like kind of mirror effects. It was a little bit weird. It wasn't a skull, but it had this kind of weird shape to it to where like if it wound up being a freaky alien race or something demons mm-hmm. i would you i would, would be buy surprised into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it wouldn't surprise me at all it's kind of freaky looking but it's like a really detailed uh very fancy looking thing, thing. on the wall <laughs> and then uh it just and it also yeah. uses blood <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> no it's it's very weird and they're like yeah it's special don't fuck with it uh and one of the girls the main character girl is like i don't know if this is for me i'm gonna head out so she pieces off and then she winds up coming back because she gets fired from her job because she's very standoffish and she's not very good with customers like ABC. She's not meant for the job. She'll find something else. And then she realizes, fuck, I need a job to support my family and stuff. And I would hate if my family's not supported. I have to go to this idol thing because that's really my only option fast. So I'll go do that. And then she gets back um, in the wall. It reacts it shoots out this thing that's written on metal and it tells them something. I don't remember, but <laughs> long story short, a bunch of really weird stuff is going on, mm-hmm. but it also kind of just feels like an idol show. But it, and like zombie land saga was an idol show in quotations, right? Yeah. You know, it was, it was an idol show and it was kind of about each character's backstory, but it was very stylized and they did all get different kinds of songs. And it was like a comedy and it was a whole different thing. This, I want it to be like a battle royale type thing, Mm -hmm. but dressed in an idol show. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like, um, Magical Racing Project was a survival anime, but it was dressed up to be this magical girl show, you know? Yeah. So I want it to be like that. And I don't know if it is, but I'm for sure watching the next episode because there were enough things there to be like, all right, something else is going on. I might wind up watching the whole show just out of curiosity to Mm -hmm. see what fucking happens. But it's probably just an idol show. Who knows though? Like, because uh, this this season there's a lot of idol shows, so maybe they're like, <laughs> maybe the studio's like, hey, we're gonna make an idol show. I mean, it's a one pictures, dude. They do good shit yeah. sometimes. I'm saying like, maybe they're like, we'll make an idol show, but fuck it, we're gonna fuck it, spin it on its head or something. Yeah, um, I'm interested to see it too. I'm I'm surprised I missed it. It just kind of fell through the cracks. But yeah, you know, it, I mean, when you look at it. It looks like it's just another fucking idol show. It also doesn't look too bad either. Like, I'm because I did scrub no, through it. it, it go, it's fine. Yeah, it's it, not bad. They worked on it. Because usually the idol shows are just trash, you know? So it's like, uh-huh. <laughs> for a lot, we'll yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. some ones later. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I am interested to see this one. Yeah. So definitely going to check out more. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about Interspecies Reviewers made by Passion. Uh, it's based off of a manga, Kids. This is the part where you take off the fucking headphones because we're talking about <laughs> naughty things. Yeah, this is a show you for sure don't watch with the parents. Uh, I was surprised because this is Funimation, right? Yeah. I, you know, because I'm just going through the list of like things I'm going to play. I usually don't look like make research for anything. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, just going to watch it and that's that's how I do it. Funimation is the new place to watch softcore porn. Which is, yeah, which is interesting because yeah. like it starts and I'm, you know, I'm search playing and then it just goes... This TV is rated MA, you know, for mature audiences, you know, and I go and I kind of like for a second like... It, what did I play? You know, like what is yeah, and it's like for intense sexual, sexual scenes and or I go, whatever. What, what is this? And then just like it was, a, it was a trip for sure. It was like something I did not expect to watch. Um, and it the thing <laughs> and the best part is it wasn't that bad actually. Like, it looks pretty good. Great character designs. The voices are all good. Like the, the characters, world are, is characters fine. are interesting. So it's like so the gist of it is <laughs> there's these characters who are like in some sort of party, like a like a like a fantasy party, right? Yeah. And they live in this fantasy world. There's, there's a human there's and a an elf. elf and, they and then they acquire meet an angel. angel. Yeah. Um, they fight stuff, kill stuff. Kind of just like most fantasy worlds, right? Their big thing is they're really into going to like brothels. Oh, yeah. They want to fuck. And having sex with 
other races, like, you know, beast the women. Well, the beginning joke is, okay, who is better uh, or who would you rather have sex with, a 500-year-old elf or a 50-year-old woman? Yeah, a human, human woman. And the thing is because, like, elves stay young for longer, right? Mm-hmm. They're like, so the human's like, that one, it looks better. And then yeah. the elf's like, ew, she's 500 years old. She's ancient, right? Mm-hmm. And then this old lady who's 50 like i'd rather have that she's only 50 she's not even over 100 and the general context of like everyone that they were talking to they're like yeah the 50 year old human yeah for sure like it's like a more attractive orc woman uh she has more life to her still like yeah. she has more energy and whatnot and just all these different things and like ew her mana's out you would want to have sex with a 500 year old elf yeah with no mana and like it's I don't just, know, so so the thing it's is, the whole thing where it's very like in this world, but also it just makes, sexual and crude, and yeah, like it makes a lot of sense. Like them having this argument, it's like yeah. an argument, it's like a discussion. A couple guys at a bar would have, you know, like hey, you know, this or that. You it know, it just like, feels like a couple of scummy dudes. Yeah, and so what yeah, they do is great. They end up like writing these reviews out, like to like and giving them these these the scores, right? Like, yeah. Out of, I think it's out of nine. There might be, it might be 10. I haven't Maybe seen it Maybe there's a perfect 10, but we yeah. haven't seen that. And then they, they posted these reviews on like the fucking discussion board or the bulletin board at the bar and people are reading the reviews and be like, this is interesting. This is yeah. like, this is what a profound, you know, review of it's something. It's becoming like the hot ticket item. And so they're buying copies of this thing to learn and then they get money, like bags of gold from it and they uh-huh. go, cool, like, let's make this our job. Our job will now be to fuck other species, write a review about it, and then, you know, with the money we make from the reviews, just fuck more species, right? Yeah, species reviewers, we did it. Um, the one the one thing that I wish this show had, but I don't know if it does yet, or if it will, but it doesn't yet, is uh didn't have any gay sex. No, I think it will I happen, mean, though. The angel the is hermaphroditic. I thought the angel which, was for sure. Is she hermaphroditic? I thought she was just mm-hmm. a dude. She has a penis, I mean, she's a girl. and she has a vagina. I and she, Yeah, it was one of the lines. Oh, I must have not yeah, read that Yeah, it's a whole bitch. thing. Also, they definitely show her uh, back bulge. I don't know uh, what they call it, mm-hmm. but when she was going around delivering like beers to people and whatnot, so she can have see sex a with big the old animal. dick and balls hanging. Yep. <laughs> what an interesting conversation we're having. Uh, so long story short, I wish it had some gay stuff in there, just because like... Why not, right? It, it should. Why not get every angle of that species instead of just going for the woman, right? But they don't all need to be gay. I'm just saying, if there were a character that was having sex with uh, with men instead, but it's also a dude in the group, because mm-hmm. it's all guys, the women think it's disgusting, mm-hmm. whatever, then uh, I think that would add a different element of comedy to it. But Japan's not ready for that. <laughs> They're ready for your species <laughs> fucking. But not for not for that stuff. Nope. <laughs> so I talked to my brother in law about this. He was like, kind of like, "Hey, have you heard about the show?" Kind of like chuckle, chuckle. And I go, yeah. "Yeah, I actually watched it." And I was like, "Honestly, it's not that bad." And when yeah. I say that, I say that in the sense of that it doesn't. It, it looks pretty good. The action's yeah. pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know, the world's interesting. There's great character designs. I like the way all the different monsters look or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, but there's a lot of really corny like puns about like sex like they mm-hmm. like hey we're gonna come here and gonna explode here you know they use these yeah and it's just like that that's pretty shit um but as a whole the biggest issue with it it's just a very lewd show yeah and, and it's like that's not what i'm looking for i'm not looking for a comedy that's just a bunch of sex yeah. jokes because that's like my go-to out of work personality yeah. <laughs> it's just <laughs> shotgunning sex jokes so and then like just another bit like it is there's parts where it's drawn and then they have like it's censored at least even though it's mature yeah. adults they like they put like censors over like nipples and crotches and stuff mm-hmm. um and i'm like okay like as soon as the first censor comes up i'm like it's even in the intro like the, all right should i find a different version of this yeah. and i immediately it. gave up yeah it's not worth it but <laughs> it wasn't on funimation in the intro, so in the intro it's censored uh like it just even the intro has like a censor bit so like that's just kind of the whole sh- the way the whole show is going to be it kind of remind me of a uh, why are you here teacher or something like that sure Remember that yeah show? yeah the Where one where she was like peeing or whatever and, he, and he's the, like all right well i have to watch has like the smallest little censored bit ever uh-huh. and i go cool this is this is what we're watching now yeah and uh, honestly man if they would just fucking commit to it and not censor that shit, I feel like it could do a lot better. I don't think it could be on that site anymore, though. Uh, like, maybe not. I don't know. But what I do know is that you're already right there. You're already talking about sex in like yeah. every contact on every context of this. It's almost hentai, but it's like soft core. I mean, they were censoring a lot of nipples. They censored uh, dick, I yeah. think, at one point, mm-hmm. and that was it. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, 
it's not for it's obviously not for us, uh, but we know there's a market no. for this, yeah. so people are going to enjoy it and have a good time. I mean, I don't know when's the next time you're going to get a show like this. Um, all that being said, it's not the worst show. It's also not a show we're going to give Kyle for like the trash show, just because like it has enough merit. It, it has, has a, has a, a lot of place. things in the positive side to be like, you know what? There's worse shows out there for him yeah, to watch. Absolutely cool. Cool. Next up, we're going to talk about Bofuri. I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. Mm-hmm. Made by Silverlink. It's based off of a light novel. Uh, this show is this girl wants to play an MMO, a VR MMO with her friend. Uh, so she's setting up her character and getting ready for it. And she's like, okay, so for my character, huh, what do I want? Let's see. I don't want to take damage really. I want to make sure that I don't die because dying feels bad. So mm-hmm. I'm just going to max out my defense and cool. And then she enters the world and her friend's not around the place. She's like, yeah, I'll figure some shit out. And then she realizes she walks really fucking slow. And that was the point in the show where I'm like, all right, well, let's just fucking see where this goes. <laughs> because I like that. As a gamer girl, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, this, it's, you're like, what a nice touch. It's, it's very really hidden. Ooh, my, it's my very gamer. subtle. Ooh. And I'm over here being like, I don't fucking care. Dude, for me, it's rocking my inner gamer hard. Yeah. Like, we all been there playing Dark Souls, doing fat guy rolls. And it, <laughs> <laughs> that's what, dude, it's called doing fat rolls. Okay. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, and as, as not a gamer, I'm just like, dude, I don't care. Like, yeah. This is so boring. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just watching this. I'm like, could you imagine, like, hanging out, watching this person that's playing the game for the first time walk in stupid slow because they don't know how to deal with stats or anything? They just, like, completely fucked up. I'm like, that's either, like, a really little kid and they don't have any idea what's going on. Or it's somebody who's just, like... Yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna definitely max out defense and just see what happens. Like, I'm gonna fuck around for like a, a bit. memer. Like, hey, yeah, why yeah. not? I have this free account. Yeah, like, let's let's just see. Let's go for yeah. it. I'm but doing- instead, it's this chick that's just like, yeah, I don't want to get hurt, so I'm just gonna max it out. And it's like, all right, well, <laughs> okay. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, you know, you're playing D and D and you have like a a character whose stats are mostly in like you know constitution and mm-hmm. like you know fucking i don't know agility or whatever and you go cool i'm gonna be a knight and i'm also a gnome even though you know i should be doing something completely different it's fun yeah it's like being a half orc and be like i'm gonna be a bard yeah why not that's what people do um so anyways she goes off and she gets attacked by some motherfuckers and by that i mean uh very cute apple bunny monsters (laughs) some motherfuckers you know uh she gets like pounced on for a little bit until it kills itself by jumping into her shield, um, and she gets like a oh, shitload yeah. of experience and stuff. For... I think that was funny. It just like kind of kept throwing itself at her, and yeah. she's just like, "Oh, this is kind of fun." And she just sat there for like hours, yeah. and I was like, "This dumb bitch!" And That's eventually, she killed it. Yeah, and then uh, she goes on to realize, "Oh, okay, so I do get experience from like getting hit and stuff." And she goes and she gets uh, attacked by a shitload of monsters, but she can't feel it, so she just like falls asleep, and they all come and attack her. And then eventually, she wakes up. She's like. What's going on with all this shit, man? <laughs> and she just learns how to meditate, and she's able to get like her health and stuff back if she's being attacked by monsters. And it winds up like slowly showing us some details about the game, but mostly she doesn't know how to fight shit, so she just lets stuff attack her, and she builds up a fuckload of resistance. Yeah, which which for when I was watching, I was like, you know what, this is kind of dumb, just because I guess the idea is like, yeah, your defense is super high, but. You could still be taking damage. You would still you. That means your health is super low because like you know you don't have any. And I was like, but I guess the monsters are so low level it doesn't actually matter, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that makes like even whatever the elements that they brought in, I feel like they're realistic enough to be like, cool. I'm not going to be upset over this dumb game, you know? Yeah. Um, it did feel it felt kind of like almost kind of teasing like shield hero, you know, because mm-hmm. it was just like, yeah, we're the shield hero and I can't get hurt. But I was like, oh, that's kind of funny, especially because it's, it's an isekai, right? Yeah. And I was like, my idea after seeing it, I was like, oh, it's kind of like Sword Art Online, but like not serious. Mm-hmm. Um, and the only reason, you know, like I said, like it's not for me just because, I, you know, the whole, all the game elements, I'm like, oh, they just don't mean anything to me. Yeah. Um, but and it's not me, a, they mean everything. <laughs> but Well, they mean more. At least you, yeah, you get no, a lot exactly. of references. They're, yeah. And me, I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. Like, it's a fine show and it doesn't look bad or anything. So I was like, cool, I get yeah. it. I'm not going to watch it though. Yeah. I'm for sure going to watch more. Um, the thing about it that I don't like is that they're trying to throw in some other in the background element. I would have liked her just like playing this game and becoming really fucking powerful and never going into a different stat, but she like somehow finds a way to do good shit. Um, at the end of the the episode, 
it ends with like people that have been monitoring her. There was another point earlier on too. Uh, when she first logs off, people are monitoring her. They're like, Hey, you checking this girl out? You should make sure to like pay attention to her. She's doing weird shit. And then later they're like, yeah, I saw she's doing some fucking crazy stuff there. We got to keep an eye. Yeah. Let's make sure to keep an eye on her. You're like, Ooh, maybe a plot. Yeah. Yeah. And they're trying to like tease at something. But for me, I'm just like, I could never imagine being in a guild where somebody's like, let's all keep an eye on this new player like what no yeah <laughs> fuck that i want to do cool shit i guess it's kind of like it's this is a better version of uh a way better version of that fucking my mom's two hit combo kind of yeah, show yeah, it's yeah. like yeah this I'd, I, I would watch this over that a thousand times yeah so i like it and i'm definitely going to keep watching it it's not for you so if you're a gamer girl watch bow free try it out yeah at least. <laughs> go for uh next up we're talking about number 24 which is made by pra yeah. it's an original and boy if i've ever wanted to hang out and watch some hot rugby players it's just gay rugby deal yeah but they all have like kind of shit that they're dealing with or something right okay so yeah it's a rugby team in, in like the university or whatever like, yeah. and it starts off with a motorcycle accident and then like we flash forward later and like this guy's going back to school. He's got a nasty scar on the back of his yeah, neck. He yeah, obviously, yeah. He, you know, he can't play anymore. He got held back because he lost a whole year of school. Been there, man. And no, he, I haven't. But and, you know. and we get introduced to a bunch of different, you know, teammates, and they're all like different shapes and sizes. They're all, a lot of them are hot. Um, and we, our main character, can no longer participate in the sport because his body can't do it. So he agrees to be the team manager, and that is even like kind of a a hassle. Because it, he has to do like <laughs> he has to do like folding clothes and like lifting heavy things and uh-huh. like moving around a lot. Um, he gets asked to like, hey, find more team managers. The rugby team needs more team managers, and so then he steals a player <laughs> yeah. to become a team manager. And it's just like, okay, cool, I get it. It's a lot of cute boys doing cute stuff, playing sports. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I I didn't hate it. What I was kind of bummed out about was. I don't know anything about rugby, and I've tried to learn about it, and I don't fucking get it. I was really hoping to watch a sports anime about rugby and then teach me the sport and, me and uh-uh. enjoy it. Because there's sexy rugby boys yeah, get cause, emotional, dude. Because there's been other rugby shows in the past, I think two that I know of, and I remember trying to watch both of them, and both of them were just so fucking either poorly done or just boring. One was that really short guy that's like, I'm a short guy, and he's like, he had like really strong back because he would do like a bunch of pull-ups because oh, yeah, he yeah, wanted to get really yeah. long, you know? Um, so I was hoping this would be the rugby show for me. No, it's for sure not. Um, it, you know, man, you see a bunch of hot rugby boys and you're like, well, I think I know exactly what this is, but let's just figure it out. Yeah. And then it's exactly what it was. It is. Yeah. So not for me. If you like hot boys, check out this show. These, These boys pretty hot, pretty emotional. Yeah. It was. Hey, it's good at what it does. Absolutely, yeah. Maybe I don't know. I guess I'm I'm not the right person because I don't like these kinds of shows. But when I look at it, I'm like, yeah. I see merit. Yeah. Do you like different? Yeah. It's like, yeah, pick your flavor, pick your favorite boy, enjoy mm-hmm. it. You know, kind of like yeah. um, if that's what you like. But for us, it's just like, nah, ain't having it. I was really hoping to find a really cool rugby show. But. Yeah. What I like instead is whenever a homeless man harasses a woman over and over, like in the next show we're talking about called Plunderer made by <laughs> Geek Toys. Uh, it's based off of a manga. Fuck this show. Okay. <laughs> Very. Oh, my God. Uh, huge fuck this show. God, it's. So it's, it starts out and some fucking weird shit's going on. Lady's screaming. She's getting the hands to like crazy. Taking, uh, she's dying. She's like, here, daughter, take this thing. You know you know what it reminded me of? I don't know if you've ever seen this movie. It's called uh, In Time or About Time. It's Justin. I haven't. It's Justin Timberlake. Okay. Oh. Have you, okay. In this, no. In, I, we didn't talk about this before, did we? No. Kyle brought it up. Okay. He, <laughs> yeah. Because this is exactly what it is, right? So in, in the movie, in this movie, Justin Timberlake everybody's perpetually 25 years old. That's as old as you get. You uh-huh. don't get any older. Um, and humanity now, like they don't, the currency that they use is time, like minutes. You go to work you and then you get paid in minutes. And uh, you kind of have like a little, on your hand, on your arm, you have like a a, a marker that says like how much time you have yeah, left to live. the girl who left through time, but money. It's money, right? And so Justin Timberlake, he saves some guy who's super rich, who had like hundreds of years because he was going to kill himself or whatever. And the guy's like, hey man, I've lived for so long, take all my time. And so Justin Triplett becomes like a socialite because he has all this time. And it's just this whole fucking thing. It's a pretty shit movie. But I remember watching it with my mom and my mom being like, this is so good. She's like, look how hot Justin Timberlake is. So I was like, yeah, I fucking get it. I think maybe like Olivia Munn is in it or Bun or somebody's in it. Some, some hot chick's in it for me to be like, yeah, you're right. This movie is pretty good. You know? uh-huh. It's um, got a little bit for everyone. 
<laughs> got a little bit for everyone. We got, got shit for the moms, got shit for the sons. That's it. No dads. Get out no of here, dad. dad. Bye, dad. So as soon as I saw the numbers, because like the number was on the mom's f- fucking palm. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, fucking Christ. Like, just, well, Zipperoni, she's out of time. I go, I've seen this fucking anime. I've seen this movie. And then we get thrown at the world like fucking 10 years, 20 years past. I don't know, like a time time jump. Uh-huh. The girl's older. Everybody has numbers all over their body, right? Numbers vary from like really low to like some of them are the hundreds, you know? And I was like, what the fuck is this? What is going on here? It's like everyone has a different thing that gives them numbers. They, if this happens, then you get numbers. They all count stuff, right? They like That's yeah. like um, so the girl, oh, the main character, she walks forever. Some for some crazy reason, the girl that's explaining her to the main character what the numbers mean. Which, by the way, fuck you. How do you not know what the numbers mean? You live in this world, right? Yeah. Or you fucking I don't care. Anyways, main character sucks. Yeah. So the, this girl is explaining to her like what the numbers mean, and she's like, "What do you count?" And she goes, "Oh, I guess I count how much I walk." And she's like, 400. By the way, the numbers also on her thigh, so it's like very provocative, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it's in that place so that we could get a lot of those shots mm, that are really close mm, to seeing a little bit of her, a little know. bit of her drongus. I yeah. don't know. We don't know what she has down there. And then uh, the girl who's explaining to the main character how the thing works somehow knows what the ratio is to, you know, how much kilometers she has to walk for one number. Like, what? Ugh. What? What is this? It's fucking the, dumb. Is this, what this, this is. girl's also her number is. Uh, Every time someone tells her she ha- made good food, she gets mm-hmm. another number. Or if she gets somebody who has a bad, bad review food. of food and it's goes down. Approximate number. And I go, she had like 71 or two. She has 77. Yeah. Or, t- or three or four. Idiot. It was 77. It was, it was 75 it was or 77. six, probably. So, and the only reason I know is because it was on her, was on her massive tits. Uh, so my issue with this is like, <laughs> first of all, how is that a, how, how is that a thing? She, so that means that she was born in this world, and then at one point, when she was born, she had a number, and then it was just like... Hey, by the way, little child, the way you acquire numbers is people telling you how good your food is, or how bad your food is. Like, does that mean that like she just always meant she had to own a restaurant or some sort of fucking traveling food cart? Or at some as at eleven or twelve years old, do you just acquire a number and you get to pick what it's for? Maybe if you watch the goddamn show, I watch you'll the find fucking out. show. And I was so mad because I'm watching this. It's so convoluted. Yeah, she's she, her job is to find some sacred warrior who's like super fast he's the he's the hero he's the hero that's gonna save the world or whatever she ends up finding him he's the fucking homeless guy that a mask on his mask breaks he has like negative 666 on his 999 on his fucking hand but then he has a sword that has like plus 5000 so it's like negates it or whatever I hated the show so much. It looked poor. It was bad. It was bad. Rapey homeless guy was trying to like creep on the main character. And then it winds up that he's the hero and he saves her from an even rapier murder man. Yeah. It was really, it was just, it was very, com- the biggest thing is super convoluted and it was just poorly written. And I can't believe this turned into an anime. This was one of my least favorite shows. I fucked this show. I hated, I hated watching this show. It made me so mad. Good. We are going to have to speed things up just a little bit, just so we know. Um, Nekopara, made by Felix Film. It's based off of a game. A lot of you guys out there know that you you fuck cat girls when you see them. Um, (laughs) This show's all about that. Are they? These are the ones that are in the maid cafe also, right? Yeah, these are the maid cafe ones. Uh, Dude owns some cat girls. They, you know, there's some good crotch shots. There's a little bit of boob shots. I'm not watching this. There's all the shots that you need. It's just... Exactly what it is. Anyone that knows what Nekopara is knows exactly what kind of a treat you're in for. And it is just a bunch of cute ass cat girls doing things in a way too sexy way. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. I'm watching it. Not watching it. No, I'm not either. It's not for me. But something that definitely isn't for me, because Nekopara, you know, cat girls could go either way. Hatena Illusion, made by Children's Playground Entertainment, is based off of a light novel. Wow. I kept watching this and kept getting more frustrated and bored. I didn't see it. I fucking hated this show. <laughs> it, was, it was a magic thing, right? It wasn't that bad, but because it was so, like, I just, I fucking hated it. It felt like it could have done something else. But, okay, this girl and this boy were friends when they were kids. The girl thought that the boy was a girl. And now that they're <laughs> older and he's coming back to visit, she finds out he's a guy. But she needs to be, like, fucking forced by her maid to put her hands on this dude's chest, which she thought were boobs. And she's like, wait, what? What? There's nothing there. No boobs? 
So anyways, this guy that doesn't really look like a girl, by the way, doesn't sound like a girl, never has. Does he have nice boobs, though? Oh, yeah. Okay, totally. Cool. Right. Completely flat the way that I want it to be. Um, Dude, just fucking, he's fine. He's whatever. He's a nice dude. And she's like, I fucking hate this guy because I thought he was a girl and now he's not. What the fuck? And uh, then she realizes she has feelings for him. The maids are trying to play matchmaker. The dad is a famous magician, and this guy wants to do magic. Turns out that this girl can do some fucking magic. She has a magic scarf that does weird shit. And uh, she's trying to get her grandma's relics back. And one of the relics is his magic wand. That's like a toy wand, right? But the grandma repaired it. Uh, So because it was repaired by the grandma, it's special magic. Sounds like you really like this show. Yeah. Did it look good? No. Oh. <laughs> How was looks... the intro? How was the outro? No. Sorry, dog. Yeah. Just don't watch Hatena Illusion. Don't watch Hatena Illusion. Yeah, it's not worth I it. I didn't see it. Probably not going to watch it. Keep not watching it. Instead, maybe, I don't know what kind of guy you are, watch Show by Rock. Mashume. Hang on, guys. Everyone sit down for like 10 minutes. I'm going to get this. Mashumarai Esh. Mashumarai I, I also didn't watch Mashumarai this one, so you got to tell me about it. Uh, it's made by Kinema Citrus. It's based off of a game. Uh, this is uh, some animal girls that want to mm. play music together. Mm-hmm. And they're animal girls in that they have tails and ears. And uh, they look like girls. That's about it. Everyone in this world is a tiny little animal person. So that's like, okay, so I think but, that's like the second animal show that we're talking about. Yeah. Or, and this is also the second idol show no, that we're talking about. This is the about. third animal show? This season was a season of animals. He, like anthropomorphic animals and uh, fucking idols, and music. this is both. This is both of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, all the the other people that aren't the main characters are these mostly animal people. Uh, they look like little foxes and little like wolves and cats and dogs and whatnot. Um, and they're like half the size of these other ones. We were like, wow, you're tall. Anyways, they all want to play music together. Mm-hmm. So main character girl gets invited to go play music for an audition. For some special idol group or some shit like that. Um, and she goes to this town and it's like a whole rock and roll town. And honestly, the aesthetic was pretty cool. And I kind of liked uh, the way that some of the characters looked. My issue, though, is that two of the characters have these really, really big swirly pigtails. And you know what, man? When you got two of them, too you much. better have a ton of other characters. <laughs> yeah. We've got four characters and they are dominated by these swirly pigtail things. Um, what was he going to say? You like the music there, right? You the said the music was so fucking jamming, dude. Yeah. I'm like for sure going to look out for this music because I'm, I had such a good time with it. It just feels like that like classic J rock music. I don't know, man. I was jamming. It was fun. I'm going to listen to more. Okay. Not going to watch it. Didn't really care what was going on. Uh, they all meet the girl when she loses her thing for her audition and they all jam out together and mm-hmm. it's kind of dumb. But uh, it looks good. It sounds good. Not for me. But it's, you know what? I got no problem with this show. It's just not for me. Okay. What's next? Infinite Dendogram made by Naz or N-A-Z. It's based off of a light novel. This show fucks. What if? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I was was very confused. I was like, this, you fucking asshole. This show's trash. (laughs) So um, this show... We watched the other show earlier with the Shield one. I was like, Yeah. Oh, well, kinda... I watched this one first. I watched, and was like, I watched the other one Ooh, first. Man. So I watched the other one first. Maybe was... if you watched this one first, I you appreci- would have been like, That show was great. <laughs> no, in my it did make me appreciate the one about the yeah, defense retrospective. Because I was yeah. like, Yo, dude, that last one was SAO Light. This is shittier version of SAO Light. Holy shit. It's about, it was... it's about a boy who wants to play like an online game. Uh-huh. And like he also does like the virtual reality and he, he gets himself in there and he has a mission. And he, I guess the, the caveat here is that he finds out that. All the like NPCs are kind of mm-hmm. like real people, and then when they die in the game, they die forever. And he's yeah. just like, he was like, oh, there's stakes here. There's it not. starts out and it's like very lore heavy. It's like this is a special world, and mm-hmm. everyone has embryos. And okay. look at it, and the embryo is like a jewel in his Honestly, hand or yeah. whatever, which is also like his power and his weapon, and it'll reveal itself when it needs to or whatever. First episode, by the way, yeah, first episode, and then. Uh, <laughs> When Before you, <laughs> we get there, though, it, he he's meeting his brother to play with, but he doesn't know what his brother looks like and doesn't have him on his friends or whatever. Yeah. Anyways, he sees this bear man and he's like, are you my brother? And he's like, yeah, I fucking am. Let's go do this quest that you got mm-hmm. because some chick ran into you and was like, 
I'm looking for my sister. Uh, help me if you can. And then, like, had all the details. Brother was like, I've never done this quest. Not even a gamer like me. And I'm like, fuck you, gamer. He's a giant, like, grizzly bear that shoots machine guns. It's a pretty cool yeah. design. I don't, I don't hate it. Oh, no, uh, no, no. It, it's, it's, it's fun. It's fine. It felt very MMO. When yeah. you're in late game, you get some weird, weird shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's out giving like balloons to kids. I was yeah. like, "What the fuck is this arcane?" That's just what happens sometimes, man. Yeah. So uh, there's a dude on the WoW server that I used to play on. I think his name's Egg Drop, and he has like all these weird fucking items. And he's just hanging out in cities, like doing weird shit with people. I'm like, "Here, have some fun." Yeah. Here, go so, have fun. So I guess like so he does the mission again. The big caveat is that these NPCs will die forever, which makes him sad. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna try harder." Uh, fucking giant worms come out from the ground or whatever. And he's just like, this quest is super tough. His embryo pops and it's like this maid chick, right? There mm-hmm. is like this goth Lolita. Goth Lolita girl. That's also, also like demon rock sword. Yeah. It's also his, his weapon kind of like soul eater having like, you know, that was, yeah, like, it's very similar to soul eater, and but like completely the weapon different too. is massive and like jagged and doesn't make any sense. It's the biggest, <laughs> dumbest anime sword I've seen in a very long yeah. time. Kyle asked me if I would like a weapon like that. And I'm like, Yes, to shove up my ass. But baby. Also, no, because like so dumb. It looks really dumb, but then again, if it's like a special item in like a weird in a game, game, you'd be like, yeah. "Look at this dumb thing." Yeah, I would be like, "Yeah, I'm using this really fucking dumb thing because look at this special effect it does or something." But if it was like, "Yeah, I'm using this because it's a goth Lolita girl,", girl yeah, that which is my character just had, and he also can't like. So, anyways, he defeats <laughs> he defeats the thing with the giant Lolita sword Yay. thing, and he's just like, "Yeah, this is my fucking partner." I always this. This Lolita sword is not going to be with me everywhere. And I'm just like, and she's kind of Sundere or something like that. And I go, this, I know, this man. looks like fucking shit. Yeah. Um, again, very convoluted. And it wasn't animated as well. It didn't look as nice. No, it didn't. Uh, fucking trash. So bad. Such a bad show. Not for not for this guy. Not for me. If not you like for it, us. feel free. And also, like, as a gamer, because I'm not a gamer. Yeah, as a gamer, not for me. Not for me. Hey, man. Uh, as a gamer, though, this next one was oddly relatable in a in a anyways it's called if my favorite pop idol made it to the budokan i would die Mm -hmm. it's made by 8-bit it's based off of a manga you watch this one yeah yeah you watch this one so i was watching it and i'm like all right so this idol girl just gave this professional ish kind of like edgy i don't really know what her deal was chick uh a little flyer come come watch the idol show Fast forward, she's the world's biggest fan of this one fucking person, and she's going full fucking otaku weeb piece of shit on him. So I didn't, I didn't hate this. Yeah, I want to make no, that very clear. I do too. I want you guys to know that the whole idea of the show is kind of funny. Yeah, but it doesn't have enough there for me to keep, keep watching. watching. Okay, because it has a few jokes in there where I'm like, "Fuck, that was funny." Yeah. But for the most part, I'm just watching it, and I'm, like, kind of embarrassed. <laughs> There's the... Okay, so... Yeah, so... She, the the pop idol is a part of, like, a collection, and so everybody has, like, their favorite. Yeah. And she's the least popular. And so this girl wants... Like, repped her so hard, like, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, And she's it's obsessed like, with her. Everyone should fucking love her. Why doesn't everyone love her? And then they her? go, but if everybody loved her, wouldn't that mean, like, your love is like, no, fuck it. Like, she needs to be the first. She also... Her, her color is salmon pink you know she's just like yeah, salmon, there's, yeah. there's already a pink and she's salmon pink so it's like a like a less popular yeah. color she like she does like the she buys fucking a uh, handshaking things with them fucking all her merch she goes for a photo the photo killed me okay because <laughs> the photo was fantastic they had to take a photo together and they'd be next to each other to make the heart shape but she was so embarrassed she was so far away it's kind of like this you know she has a crush on her romantically. I don't know if they, she's like, uh, if she is a lesbian, maybe they are. I don't know. Oh, they both have romantic crushes yeah, on each other. But by the other, end of it, but... like, but at the very end, we see that the, you know, because she feels like, she feels bad. She's like, oh, I like her so much, but I don't want to upset her. And then we see that this idol girl is like, I'm, she's very shy. She's just yeah. like, I also really appreciate her being super supportive. I just don't know how to tell her. And she also cherishes like another photo that she got of her. It surprisingly, I didn't fucking hate this. I thought yeah. it was, there's moments where I laughed. A plenty. Oh, I felt like this was very uh, kiss him, not me. Yeah, and the thing is, like, as a, as a fucking loser like me, I was like, this is great. <laughs> yeah. Like, this might well, be my shit. Dude, so many good things were in that show, but it was just not enough of them consistently. Mm-hmm. It's like, all right, I gotta wait like six or seven minutes, and then I'm gonna get something that I like. But for the most part, I'm just like, yeah. I get it. None of us shower. None of us use deodorant. I haven't brushed my teeth in a month. Bro, yeah, she- I get this. I'm waiting in line right now for the next Dark Souls. You know? I'm I a gamer. I didn't hate this show. If there's nothing else for me to watch, 
I might watch more of this because I I went I watched all of Kiss Him Not Me. So it's like, yo, dude, fucking sign me up. It's not perfect, but it's not the worst. Oh, dude, you want to talk about a perfect show? Yeah. Next up, we're talking about Uche Tama. Have you seen my Tama? Made by Mappa and Lapin Track. It's it's another other. People don't know where it came from. It, it was just materialized. It's a and here we are. machine. All right. So you know, hey man, you have a dog. I have a cat. I do have a dog. Yeah. What if they like hung out and like did cool shit in the streets? What if they were like humans? You know. Yeah. What if, man? What so, so this is another show of like the humans who are uh, animals who are also humans. What happens is like we'll see like so. Everything's There's so many fucking animals. What's happening so, this season? So the the style of the anime is pretty basic, but then there's all these animals and they're very cutely drawn. They're very yeah. cylindrical, you know, very smooth. They look stylized. And then I I don't know if you caught this, but during the credits, I was like, Oh, Sanrio. Sanrio. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. so that's why it's other, is because it's like it's a toy or it's like kind a, of just like toys, but also like kind of just a brand. Um, and so what happens is like we see the dogs doing stuff like eating, you know, out of a bowl or whatever, walking yeah. around, and then like a like a cut, and then the dog is now a human with ears and like you know a tail, and they're like, we got to go find this guy because he's lost, and like it's all these dogs and cats that are friends. It's it's kind of just a like really basic kids show feeling. Yeah, it's to that. it's not bad, honestly. Um, it's weird. It it and it's and it's it's also cut up in bits. Like they, there's like different stories in every yeah. episode. It's just not entertaining, I don't think. Nah, it was boring. But uh, it's uh, but it's a. I guess I can imagine it being an easy watch if you want to watch these cute little animals, and then they're fu- if you're also into like fucking, yep, you know, furry shit. I don't yep. know. What, I don't know. What do you call that? What are they called? Like just like furries? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey man, there are different levels of it. That's like furry light. Yeah, know? very light. Yeah, it's- and B stars is like furry extreme. That's like where I want to be. <laughs> That's where I want to be too. Yeah. Um, it's not the worst show ever. I don't think I'm gonna watch this though. Okay, cool. Well, I thought it was the best show, but no, you don't, you fucker. <laughs> I don't. It was it was just boring. Next up, Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, made by Studio Large. It's based off of a manga. You know, when you go into this show, <laughs> you you have an idea, and then when it immediately kind of like does something else, but it's not like it, it just it did so many things that I wasn't expecting. I guess this is Gegege no Kitaro, but like different i really right? like this show there were things that i liked a lot it was a very strange show because i thought i was gonna fucking hate it uh-huh and i ended up not hating it i was like okay cool this, there's they're doing they're doing they're averting my expectations at all time every yeah, time completely. I, th- I thought it was gonna go this way it went a completely different way by the end of it i was like you know what i actually really enjoyed this and i really liked the way it looks it had a really interesting style i think one of the songs, it was either the intro or the outro, I was kind of jamming, jamming on. Jamming too, yeah. And great color palette. It yeah. had like a lot of things that it was doing really well. But something about it, just I couldn't connect with it. I, I really enjoyed it. I think, so the gist of it is there's um there's a school and in the school there's like these seven wonders. We don't get to know about the other wonders. Whatever. We just get to learn about the seventh one who is this, it's supposed to be a girl, but it's actually a boy who... Mm-hmm is in a bathroom and if you go like kind of like you know it's a very typical japanese uh folklore yeah thing. like you you know you kind of like candy man you say his name three times knock on the door he'll grant you your wish so <laughs> not everyone knows what candy man <laughs> everybody knows what candy man is <laughs> no. you fuck so, candy man. or like so, Yorona, you know fucking <laughs> the boogeyman is that better the, i guess the bo- maybe the boogeyman i would have said like bloody mary bloody personally. fucking fuck you fine bloody mary that's asshole. that's my go-to i just like that yours is candy man because i've never seen candy man they're making a sequel yeah well nobody's gonna watch it uh fucking jordan peele's involved nobody's he's does who is he he's the guy that did get out nobody's heard of him he did he did that one in us nobody has heard of him. i'm really looking forward to a show that's yeah. coming out on hbo yeah. later it's like lovecrafty and yeah, south yeah. stuff shut oh, up man. shut up let me talk about this fucking show oh i thought we were talking about jordan peele no that's not our other podcast oh okay um <laughs> so anyways people go here and they knock and he they summon him and they ask for a wish and he'll grant you your wish but it always had a price right yeah and so he explains this to this girl and then he goes look i'm gonna help you but i'm not gonna give you the fucking magic bits i'm gonna help you kind of with some practical stuff yeah to like make some by fall in love with her she does all this stuff. It's all like a bunch of wacky stuff happens. She eventually f- says, fuck it. I'm going to do the magic stuff. She eats some s- mermaid scales. Yeah. She and eats then, a mermaid scale, I think. Then she turns into a fucking fish. And then yeah. a giant mermaid monster shows up. And he yep. he kills it somehow. And it's just like, yeah. 
cool, this is the show. It's like, it's going to be a lot of this. And I go, the big I, battle was fucking cool. Because, I mean, when I see the, the name Lerch, I'm like, all right, hmm. so we're going to do some weird shit. Hmm. And they did. <laughs> I just I just really enjoyed it because like I was like I didn't know what I was getting into. I thought I did, and then every time I thought what you know things would happen the way it did, it didn't. And again, the way it looks, like the style, I was like, yeah, it's it different. Was, I really it appreciate was it. Thick and bubbly and kind of comic-y, yeah. but like not. And there's all there, there was kind of bits where like they would do like a lot of vignettes and like uh-huh. kind of like, uh, like comic yeah, books. And it was like, really good. Go, but sometimes it was good, sometimes it was bad. It's not the perfect show, but. I, I am going to keep watching this. Definitely like surprised the fuck out of me. Yeah. Just like this next show called ID Invaded, uh, also made by Naz. This one's an original. So we all knew that Infinite Dindagram is not for us. And then ID Invaded came around, and this motherfucker wakes up. He's all pulled apart. Mm-hmm. He starts grabbing pieces of himself, putting himself back together like a puzzle. And then he's missing a part where his arm Which is uh, a really attaches cool to his hand. He's essentially a one-armed Ray man. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. He's just throwing his arm, grabbing different parts of buildings, trying to solve the mystery of how is he here? Who is this girl? Or that's, who he is, yeah. Yeah, who am I? Who's this girl that's completely put together and, like, I'm not? And then there are all these other people that are also missing uh, one particular part of them. And he's figuring things out. And then this is the part where I was like, well, if we just stayed in the game... And didn't reveal anything until the end of the first episode. It would have been, more been fun. there, man. Yeah. It, it's not in a game, but it's in like this cyber world thing. Yeah. Anyways, it jumps out and it's like, all right, we're special agents and we're doing some detective shit. We're doing weird memory freak stuff and we're getting in there and he's going to figure it out. He's got to do it this time. And it yeah. turns out that they're trying to solve a case, which involves some weird convoluted video game type bullshit. <laughs> I feel like they revealed it way, way too, too soon. Early. Yeah, yeah. It, it was strange. I would have liked it again. I, I agreed if they would have held it out very like if he would have not learned who he was very quickly because within the first ten minutes he goes like, "Oh, that's right. My this is my name, and I'm the world's best detective." I was like, "Fuck yep. you! Shut the fuck up! Don't know that. No, fucking solve it later." There was just different shit. It that... kind of kind of gave me psychopath vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psychopath, psychopath vibes. Yeah. You know. Um, I'm into this. I yeah. What I wrote was like I think it was pretty entertaining. Yeah, and then I it visually it was pretty nice. It was really cool looking. The only thing was like at bits at, there's bits of it that's pretty corny. Like yeah, him going like I'm the greatest detective and I'm gonna do. I'm like shut the fuck up, you know. Yeah. On one hand, I'm like that's fucking dumb. On the other hand, I'm like I don't know. By the by the, <laughs> by the end of the first episode, like you know, like there's like a cliff, like a like a cliffhanger kind of thing, and yeah, I go, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm really invested in this. I really like. The Rayman design. And I was like, it's fucking sick. It'd be really cool to see more cases like this. I hope they don't just stick well, on this one case for super long. Me too. I want to see more. And that's what really draws me in is that, like, now that I know that it's a whole, like, hey, you solve each case in, like, a special world or whatever. Kind of like, what's the movie? What's that movie? Uh, Inception, right? Where they yeah. go into, like, a different <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of gave me those vibes. I'm like, oh, sure. This looks fun. Yeah. So I would be really into it. Um, I'm going to watch more. We'll find out if I drop it or not, mm-hmm. but I would be really into it if they kept with the very interesting world yeah. and the new designs for each thing. I'm I'm a little bit scared that they aren't going to. Yeah, it could it could quickly be very formulaic and be like, oh, he's gonna find, find solve this and solve that. Like if they keep me guessing and they keep me entertained with the story, yeah. I'm gonna be involved because like visually. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've always liked police and crime and detective and serial killer shit, mm-hmm. and this really hits all those vibes. Um, and I think if it handles it well, I'll really enjoy myself. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to watch more. All right. Next up, we're almost done with Funimation, by the way. We're still talking about Funimation shows. Got this one. Uh, and then you, you actually skipped one. We're going to go back to one. We skipped one? Yeah, we skipped Darwin's Game. That's where we're at right now. Oh, okay. Then my this is wrong then. <laughs> yeah, Darwin's Game made by Nexus uh, is based off of a manga. And I knew what this was Me going too, into yeah. it. But the first episode is an hour long. And yeah. it drags. It's not for me. I, I wanted to like this because it's a survival anime, right? It's yeah. it's very reminiscent of like, uh, what's that? What's the one? Future Diaries, like, you know, sure, yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. like the vibe of like you're playing this game and like this guy gets us, he plays an online uh, a game and people are mm-hmm. hunting each other, you know, killing each other and they all get, they all get gifted powers to, you know, further their things. It It's, it's just a survival anime. I mean, you could go into all the details yeah, of it, it but was, it doesn't feel like it's special. Uh, yeah. And I think so the, the issue I had, cause like, at first, I was like, it's an hour long. Is this a movie? You know? And I was like, yeah. and then I looked into it and I was like, no, this is a fucking special. We're going to do two, you know, the first episode is going to be two hours long. And I go, all right, this, this felt, it felt like an hour long, like, like 
every second, you know, felt like I was ticking away slowly. I was like, God, Dude, just do rough. something. Yeah. And my big, my biggest complaint was I, I liked it at points. Um, I mean, but, but that's just because it's a survival. Yeah. That's, anime. Yeah, that's a big thing of it. And then the other thing is like, I wish it, I wish, I wish it looked a lot uh-huh. better. It's just boring, kind it's, of bland. Yeah, it's very basic. You know, there's nothing like the art style is not really amazing. You know, the character designs, it just like feels like a really generic yep. anime. And, and my biggest issue is like, it was that. So yeah, I might keep watching this just because it's a survival anime. I want you, yeah. if you do, but to it, please let me know yeah. if it actually gets, gets better. Good. Cause I, I like survival anime a lot. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if, never... if I fall off of it though, just because you know, it's not firing on all cylinders yeah. and I was looking forward to this a lot coming into it. Mm. Well, Hey, you know what? I was really looking forward no, to. No, you weren't. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sorceress Stabber Orphan, made by Studio Dean. Uh, It's based off of a light novel. This is actually, believe it or not, this used to be an old-ass anime. It was, yeah. Yeah. It still looks like an old-ass anime. And it didn't change anything. It's just like, it fucking sucks, dude. I don't have a whole lot to say about this other than... Dude's an orphan, has like super good magic powers. His name is Orphan. (laughs) Yeah, his name is Orphan as well. It's just like fucking uh, so dumb. And uh, there's a big dragon. It's it's bad dragon stuff going on. Oh, no, we got to kill it. So all these wizards are fucking shooting their magic at it. And then this little fucking trash monkey comes along and he shoots. <laughs> what? Nothing. It's That's just, what he is. He know, fucking I sucks. Oh, yeah, I get it. He just comes out and he shoots his magic at it. And then a wizard's like, oh, fuck. That's like the hero's magic. This dude's fucking really strong, guys. Wow. Oh, my God. And the episode was over. And it looked like shit. And it felt like shit. And fuck this shit. I don't show. know if you know. But not only was that how the episode ended. That's also how the episode started. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. all the wizards shoot this dragon. And he uses his magic <laughs> to protect the dragon. Yeah. That's how it starts. And that's how it ends. And I go, cool. We're literally at the same point as the beginning of the show. Um, it was, it, it was, it felt very stale, very stagnant. God, like the, so the characters, bad. like the designs, this, like everything about them felt like ancient anime. And there's nothing wrong with old anime, it, you know, because I've seen old anime and I, that really holds up. But this just felt like, like a, like a stale piece <laughs> Some of early '90s you know, piece of shit. Yeah. yeah and um, <laughs> my biggest complaint, one of my biggest complaints, too, was like the two little kids. They're not kids; they're actually dwarves. Like you yeah. know, like a like another creature. It would have been cool if they like did a better job of you know making that clear. It's like because they looked like children. You know, they weren't. That, I like that though. I wanted them to be designed differently, so, like so I can actually tell like there's a different species. They just look like little kids. Um, well, maybe if you watch the next episode, you'll find fuck out you, fuck why. You. This show, the show is really <laughs> bad. Um, but, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But I, hey, good for Funimation for getting a hold of the rights. You know. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> they, you know what, Funimation has the most shows of anybody they have so many fucking shows which is crazy and they have a couple that i'm like interested in and yeah, actually yeah. i'm gonna check out Props so to them. hey way to go funimation you got some shit but you know what my boy crunchyroll you know we've been hanging for years now we still chilling they got what i need my hero academia is continuing made by studio bones based off of a manga we haven't gotten a new intro yet, but uh, we have had some uh, some little, little bit a little bit of <gasps> dying <laughs> spoilers. All the characters are dead. Um, it's good. I didn't watch this just because like I'm gonna watch it. So, but you know what happens. I know what happens. You yeah. know who dies. Yeah, I know who dies. All of them. Deku. Right in the face. Can we just get to the next show? Haikyuu, to the top. Made by Production IG. It's based off of a manga. It's my favorite sports anime. It's one of my top animes. Ever heard of it? Uh, Really good. I've only seen the first episode because that's how we do. Mm -hmm. And it just comes in so strong, giving you exactly what you wanted before. There were also two OVAs that uh, released at the same time. And the OVAs are following characters from other schools that are also going to be... uh, possibly competing in the competition uh mm-hmm. that Krasno is going to be fighting in um anyways i didn't watch it's great it's about I need, volleyball i need to watch the third season so <laughs> yeah anyone that hasn't seen haiku it is a fantastic show it's got really well written characters great music great action uh it develops the characters on the other teams as well as our main characters that are all on the same team <laughs> dude it's so fucking good this season's going to be dope. Okay. I'm stoked. Okay, I'll watch it. Settle down. I want to talk about Asteroid in Love, which is made by Doga Kobo. It's based off of a form coma manga. No shit. No shit at all. Hey, man, this show is all right. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. It's it's about a fucking club. It, it was the, the first one that I watched of the season. It looks pretty. 
It's about these girls that want to learn about space. They have like a space club together and they want to find an astronaut together. They're like in love, but they don't know it yet. Yeah. I wrote, I wrote like gay, I wrote me like gay love club. Yeah. I liked it. It was, I mean, when I say I liked it, I mean, it didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. It had some like sweet characters. I want to learn about space. I get it. I feel like I've seen this show before. Me too. I feel like like I've seen a better version of the show before. I don't know about better version because it's not that great. (laughs) I don't, I don't know. I I don't know. What do you think a better version of the show would be? I feel like uh, fucking, what's it called? Uh, Place for the universe is a better show than this. It's a club that goes to you know fucking Antarctica. I learned a lot about Antarctica. Mm, yeah, you know, I was like, cool. And like they they loved each other. You know, I was like, awesome. That that was a way better version than this. I I thought this was more of a romance, so that's why I wasn't going that way. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, this is like a slice of life romance. I, I, that's all it is. I'm not feeling it. I just think, I just think it's kind of boring. So it um, is kind of boring. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to learn a little bit about, about space. Maybe I'll watch another episode. Go I haven't ahead. decided yet. Uh, next up is Somali and the Forest Spirit, made by Satellite. It's based off of a manga. This show has some fucking cool things in it. I agree. Not much happens, mm-hmm. but enough happens for me to want to see more of this world. Like I want to, I want to see all these character designs. I want to see this world like unfold itself. And... Is he is he a stone golem? Is yeah. He, okay. Yeah. So I enjoyed this show. I like. I, it took me a while, but by the end of it, I was like, you know what? The world is very interesting. Our main characters, I really fucking dig them for some reason. Um, it's Golem a, is essentially a robot yeah. that uh, he can't like he doesn't lie fe- or anything. No, he doesn't he wants feel, to protect. He, he understands emotion. He can't feel emotions, and he's he's found a, a human child, and he's been he's kind of been like I'm going to find other humans and pr- essentially give her this child away to the humans. Yeah, and, but in this world, this fantasy world. All the humans are supposedly dead. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they don't exist anymore. And, and so all the monsters and whatnot love eating humans. Yeah, yeah. Because they taste good. Yeah. Um, and so the little girl, or I don't know if it's a little girl or boy, but the child he's taking care of wears like a little hood with little horns on it. He's like, yep, she's some sort of mentor thing, you know, yeah. her son. I don't know. And then uh, he's just doing his best to kind of like take care of this child. And you can kind of tell that where it's going to go. He's going to learn. I feel like he's going to learn about emotions. Like he, yeah. By the end of the first episode, like they're holding hands. He's just like, he's like, cool. <laughs> that was actually a really, really funny nice. bit I, where he, uh, so he realized that creatures will hold the hand of their young in order to keep an eye on them. Yeah. And like, it's another safety thing. So he's like, hold my hand, little one. And the little kids holding onto his finger or whatever. Yeah. They're walking and the kid sees a butterfly. Run and he's like, oh, a butterfly and runs, but doesn't let go. And like, yanks his arm super hard it looks really fucking yeah. good when he does that my favorite bit was when he's he's trying to sell some sort of minerals at some f- fucking shop and the shopkeeper yeah. trying to fuck him over and he goes look dude i didn't want to fucking do this but here i go he opens his eye up which was terrifying looking well yeah. so well done and he's scanning everything and he goes like all the shit you have in this store is like fake he's like i could tell the authorities you can get in a lot of trouble and he's just like oh shit he's like sell me my shit at a fair price and i'm gonna get the fuck out of here and i'm like what that what a cool fucking power yeah um it's super, it seems really chill, seems really lax. My favorite thing about it is the world around it, like seeing oh, all the yeah, monsters absolutely. and characters. I'm, Very vibrant. I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes. I didn't think I'd like it at first. I'm, I'm enjoying I it. I thought I would be into it, but it, it might hit that same level of uh, Ancient Magus Bride, where, where it's like, really pretty, kind of slow. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I'm really intrigued. I want to see more. It's done some cool stuff, but it has to keep my attention. So I'd like to see, like, if, for, if I had my brothers, I'd like to see, like, of like a few story arcs of the child being at its age, right? Uh-huh. And then a, a, a leap and then the child being older, you know? Yeah, um, sure. Maybe not by the end of it, like finding the humans or whatever, but I'd like to see time progress, like, and it just not always be like a little kid, you know? Yeah. Because I, I get it, it's cute, but I would like, I'd really like to see where the story would go in the like, yeah, kind of like the spoilers, the end of Dororo. <laughs> Am I right, everyone? Never <laughs> yeah, seen we're it. all right. You won't ever see it. It's too good for you. What else you got? Speaking of too good for you, this is the best first episode of any show of the season. It fucking blew everything else out of the park. Anyways, keep your hands off a Uh It's made by Science Saru. It's based off of a manga. And holy fuck, Yuasa's back at it again, you guys. That's the director of... Uh... Masaki Yuasa. Devil Man Cry Baby, Baby Night Short, Short Walk, Walk On Girl, Girl Tatonic Tatonic Galaxy, Galaxy. <laughs> Ping Pong the Animation, ah, damn, I, I, you're gonna keep Lou you, Over the Wall. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was pretty close. I knew those three would be in that order. Yep. <laughs> um, this this show's fucking great. Um, it's about a, a girl who 
grows up in this really kind of like this weird community that's like next to the water and like everything's yeah. built very it's like a it's not earth i don't think it's earth i mean no. it's earth but it's not like a realistic earth right it's some other kind of version of our world our world and she wants to make anime because uh you know she she wants to go on an adventure so her adventure is creating anime she meets this other girl in school who is a very good character drawer like she draws really good humans and like stuff so like yeah. she wants to put their stuff together and then the third girl who's a part of the group wants to make money so she's just like <laughs> she's like look like you do the backgrounds you do the fucking characters and uh the girl who does the characters also happens to be like a very famous she's model so crazy yeah so she's just like crazy i'm gonna make sure we fucking get cash and it's fucking great because it's amazing everything they do so like, they'll be drawing and creating stuff and like designing things and then we see like uh like a this like a dream sequence come to life and like they're now like in the ship that they're building and they're like oh well, we need to add this hatch Holy here fuck, and so it got like, so cool it's so gorgeous and like they make this weird like dragonfly like fucking plane or whatever and i was like yeah by the end of it i'm just like whoa what did i just watch i okay so i don't remember this was one of the first ones i watched mm-hmm. and i felt like i spoiled it because i watched it so early mm-hmm. um the intro can't remember it at all but i have in my notes best intro oh yeah also uh, the music was fucking jamming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My notes just, even though I know so much about what the way this show looks and what it's about and whatnot, it's the music that really stood for me, but I can't remember it. But I remember the feeling, which is like psycho, toe jam and Earl kind mm-hmm. of vibes where it's got a lot of that like 80s weird fucking like Give me like pillow freaky, vibes, you know, like, oh, dude, it was, it was so good. It was really good. And. <laughs> It's great when a show can make you like like something you hate. Like I hate milk. Like milk fucks me up. I've never really like enjoyed it. I was it. like, dude, I want to join this milk club right now. They're talking about like it's like yeah, I'll do this thing for you. Be at the buy me like two glasses of milk, and they're like they buy milk from a vending machine in these glass bottles, and I go, my god, I've never wanted a fucking <laughs> bottle of milk so bad in my fucking life. All the little set pieces, all of the designs the are so like, good. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, the main character girl has like a she's got like a bucket hat and like a backpack she that's looks all like camoed a, out. Yeah, like honestly, kind of like the gorillas, right? Yeah, she looks like a little fucking two D. Yeah, and then next to her is like a tall kind of murdoch looking yeah. motherfucker she's got like a triangle for a mouth that's like you know very sh- shapely she's have like glasses on her forehead she also has one of those like eh, kind she's, of voices which i love those when they do well my favorite bit of her is her backpack like i didn't really you know i noticed other girls back at this came Dude, up her backpack was sick she turns around and her backpack is like it's red right it like made me uncomfortable too and i don't know why <laughs> it's two giant shoes put together yeah. and i go oh <gasps> Oh, yes. Oh, uh-huh. my God. So much yes. Oh, yeah. This is the best show of the season so yeah, far. Hands down. First episode, 10 out of 10. I, I don't care if they if there's a plot. I no. Don't, I don't fucking care if, you know, I, I could, if it's I 12 episodes see, long yeah. if, and, it's the sa- and it, every episode is the same as the first episode, I'd be yeah. so fucking happy. <laughs> Do a couple of wacky things. Try to make a wacky show. And then fucking show me a cool backpack. That's all I want. Those three things. It was so cool. I and it looks amazing. We were talking Guys, about it. Watch it. And then you get a text. You're just like, "Yo, dude, it's done by you know the guy that we like yeah. so much." They go, "Oh, that makes so yeah, much exactly. fucking it was sense." Just like immediate, like, "Oh, oh, we should have we should have picked up on that though, right?" We're hella like, dumb. Yeah, I was like, "How could we not know?" But the thing is. His movie is coming out to the U.S. theaters really soon, Mm -hmm. and that's all that we're thinking. We're like, he just made a movie. There's no way he could make another TV show. But he fucking did. Night of Short Walk On Girl was about two years ago, a little bit more than two years ago, Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, It came out. And then after that, there... Was Devil Man Cry Baby? I think those happened around the same time. Really? Actually, maybe. I don't know. Because his last series I know that he made was Devil Man Cry Baby. Yeah, it was. And then he made this movie, uh, the one that's going to come out, the fucking, the surfing one, right? Yeah, which is Ride Your Wave. Yeah. And then, so this thing kind of just came out of nowhere, I feel like. I mean, obviously we must have came across it somewhere. Like, I I feel like it popped up on my feed for like, you know, AnimeNews.com. Like, hey, look at these character designs. But I I didn't know. Cool, okay. Yeah. (laughs) What a good show. Masaki Yuasa. Because if you just fucking say his name, I'm in. Fucking chills. He's one, he's so one of the best. Yeah, I fucking love him. Uh, Sign Sorrow, amazing studio that he works with. His studio, whatever. Um, and then coming off of that, I watched Satan Academy, Join the Pack, made by Studio Gokumi. Mm-hmm. It's based off of a manga. And uh, we have a viewer out there, a listener. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, it's a listener. Do you, do you watch the audio files? I don't I, know what you guys you do. You watch it creep across, yeah. I don't know what y'all do. Um, but anyways... 
he wanted to know my opinion of this. I'm like, hold off. And then, you know, I'll give my opinion. <laughs> like, man, dude, I wish it was for me. You hate but it. Yeah. It's so, it's completely not. It is the opposite of what I was looking for in a show right now. Um, maybe if it hit me at a different time, I would be all about it. I was, maybe I was too optimistic. I don't know. There were so many things going into this where I've heard of it and I've seen so many screenshots and I'm like, all right, pink wolf girl. Okay, cool. Oh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, I'm fucking in. And then I see the show and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm out guys. So, <laughs> Sorry. So it's, the basic boil down is like, it's uh, it's high school, mm-hmm. but it, there's all these like animals in it and it's like, like the noah's ark of high schools it's like the uh if there's a tv show when i was growing up on cartoon network called my is either cartoon network or nickelodeon it's called my gym partner's a monkey oh yeah you ever I that about that, his yeah. name was, the guy's main character's name is max lion so his last name was lion so like oh cool you're in the wrong school we didn't send you to the school where all the animals go ah uh, that's how they get you and he gets sent there um it was just the anime version of that so like he hates animals he's always hated animals and he has to deal with all these fucking animals i'm like why the fuck are you here is this right is the graduation rate super high what is what's so great about the what's school the deal guy and you know this wolf girl like wants him to be part of her pack and it's it's very it's very anime uh-huh. um i didn't hate it like i i remember you telling me about it like being like dude watch out for this show i didn't hate it that much good. It, it's not good like it's not like the best show it's it's uh there's other like you know i guess you said this season there's so many animals you know yeah i I thought there's other animal shows that i liked a lot less than this one there was parts where i actually like i laughed but as a whole it's not a it's not the great show i really enjoyed the bears being like assholes and beating up the shit out of people i was like huh that's really funny the t-rex like cool cool t-rex but it, at no point was it like as a cohesive thing I'm like this is amazing it was more like there's bits and pieces that i enjoy but it wasn't like the best I disliked the parts that I disliked so, so much, much yeah. that it didn't matter. Because there were parts that were kind of okay. Mm-hmm. But there was so much that I didn't like about it. And it's just, it's a harem. Mm-hmm. But my favorite thing, I will say this right now, is the sloth girl has fucking moss and mushrooms growing on her. Sloth and I girl. love that. I, don't think I, I, don't, I must have not mm-hmm. noticed that. Maybe you didn't watch the outro. Maybe you didn't oh, watch okay. the intro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because she wasn't fucking there. I mean, maybe she was at the end of the episode and they're like, who are you? I think that she was one of those. Mm. Anyways, I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, what kind of a girl is this? Because all the guys look like animals and all the girls look like people with, with ears, ears or and whatever. like tails and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, so I'm like, okay, so what's this one's deal? And I'm like, she's got moss on her. What is she? She's a sloth. Hmm, she's, she's fucking a dumbass sloth, little slow yeah. ass sloth. I, did, I love it. I like that decision of making like the males just animals and like the, like, like that bit, like that little yeah. bit. I was like, oh, cool. What a cool choice. Still, as a whole, not a great show. I didn't like that bit. I liked it a lot. That was only great. Only because I felt like for all of the girls, they were just like, the same they're character. all hot. Yeah, they're all They're hot. all yeah. just fucking hot. Oh, yeah. And that's what I hated about it. I'm best. like, eh. That's why I liked the sloth. Because I'm like, she was well, just yeah. not like, a, you know, she's just a fucking girl. Um, I'm not going to watch this, obviously. Like, there's other shows for me to watch. But, yeah, it's. I mean, I hate, I hate other shows more than I hate this show. That's what I'm trying to get at. True that. I had a terrible time with mm-hmm. this. I didn't want any part of it, but I also just watched like the new Haikyuu, the, the new My Hero. <laughs> the best show ever. I watched Keep Your Hands Off, <laughs> Heizoken, and yeah, then I went into this and I'm like, wow, I'm so fucking mad that mm-hmm. I just watched something so amazing and you could go to something that's completely not. Yeah, I think I watched I watched man. this one early on too. That's why I was like, eh. yeah, this was the fourth one <laughs> for me and I was like, no. Okay, man. I want to talk about Case Files of Jeweler Richard, made by Shuka. It's based off of a novel, but I only want to talk about this show for like a second. It's like Sherlock Holmes, but jewelry. It's like an old guy talking, or a, a young, hot guy talking about grandmas. Yeah. It's about a it's about a character who starts working for a guy who, like, fucking appraises jewelry, and, like, he's going to solve cases and stuff. Yeah. It's fine. It is kind of like a therapist, but also like solves things. They also might be in love. Who knows? It, it felt weird. I did not. I wasn't about this. I didn't hate I just, this. Like, um, I was just kind of bored. I, it was it was a little boring. Uh, I didn't hate this. My biggest issue was, uh, you know, I think that it's it doesn't look that great. A lot of, and it's and it might just be a bunch of samey stuff because like yeah, they're going to start working on like that washed out yeah. kind of like. And, and they said, like, nice they're going to start palette. they're going to start working on, like, different cases and stuff. Like, I'm like, cool. The first case wasn't that entertaining, though. So I, I don't, I can't see other cases being more entertaining. I, you know, yeah. I, the fucking, what's the ID, whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm ID way invaded. more excited to see those cases than, hey, where's this jewel from? You know, I was like, okay. It's none of your business. Fuck you. Yeah. So not for me. I mean, no. if you, if you want to watch it, go for it. 
Really quick, I'm going to talk about Isekai Quartet 2, made by Studio Puya Yukai. Uh, it's an original, of course, because it's an accumulation of a bunch of different isekais that all just go into this one little chibi show. And I watched an episode or two, I think it was only one, but maybe two, of the first season and decided, you know what, this show's not for me. But now it's season two, and we get the shield hero in here, you guys. And I liked the rising of the shield hero, so I figured, you know what, maybe we're going to do some fun little jokes. Maybe I'll have a good time. And it just feels like a bunch of like pretty basic memes, mm-hmm. um, which is fine. I understand why people like this show. But the thing is, I shovel through memes so fast. I'm chowing down on memes 24-7. And if it ain't got Ricardo, I'm not in, you know? No, I don't know. Ah, man. So, oh, oh that's, the, that's the muscle guy, yeah? Yeah, I do the know. dancey guy. He's nice. got the big old schlong, and I he's got the America and I bandana. Fucking, I know, it's crazy. And he whips at you. And, and I only like, know yeah. because of you. You got that. Mm, I never would have known because of that. It, you ruined me. Fuck yeah, you. I'd fuck me. Uh, anyways, Isekai Quartet. Check it out if you like all of the shows that are involved. If you like some of them that are involved, still check it out. Maybe it's for you. Mm-hmm. But for me... I am in, like, another level of anime trash memes that yeah. I can't enjoy this as much, I guess. I don't know. Okay. If it ain't got Daojin, I'm not in. Y'all know what I'm saying? No. Some of you do. Don't worry. Uh, you want to tell me about some Room Camp made by Sea Station? It's based off of a manga. And uh, also, it's kind of a spinoff of a TV show. Yuru Camp? Does that ring a bell? Yeah, I guess. It's like a, a three-minute show. They're short. Yeah, that's why I didn't watch it. <laughs> it's about it's about uh, the girls like uh, fucking from laid back camp. Laid back camp. They do their their outdoors club, and they're just uh-huh. like little fucking snippets. the The first episode is a girl going to the back room and like finding like of the storage room where they do their they yeah have their camp the tiny stuff. ass little room. Yeah, and she finds like a can of tuna. He's like, "What the fuck's this for?" And then she mm-hmm. like imagines like a I think it was like a raccoon coming up and her having to use it as like a way to get it away from her. And then they go, "No, you use the tuna can to make like a candle." You know, like because of the oils or whatever and they go uh-huh. ha, ha 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 and they eat the tuna can i was like and that was it that was literally it so i was like oh cool it's it's just like a lazier version of laid back camp <laughs> and it's not it's a more laid back version yeah it's not funny so i, yeah. I not for me oh sorry man uh you wanna you wanna talk about another show called yeah. arp backstage pass made by dynamo pictures yeah uh it's based off of some other shit my uh just my notes for this one is fuck no 3d bullshit plus fuck boys it's an idol show it starts off with this like really fucking horrible like concert and i was like i okay well i'm gonna give credit to where credits do and say it was pretty well animated uh, compared to a lot of idol shows out there yeah for sure but the thing is it gave me like the 3d vibes gave me like uh like uh those fucking barbie movies like it kind of it kind of looked <laughs> yeah. like that and then it cuts to then after the concert like the band getting put together and how they become f- I don't, idols or whatever it was sure. very generic I just, it was just an idol show, man. Mm-hmm. Didn't like it. I don't it. know. You got to want your idol show when you're going into this. I thought, I'd, I I thought I'd enjoy a lot of idol shows when I first started watching idol shows. And I'm like, you know what? No, I actually don't. Uh-huh. Turns out no. No. So, yeah, this was just some high quality 3D looking shit, but it was not for me. Yeah. Uh, next up is Magia Record, Puella Magi, Madoka Magica, Magica Side Story, made by Shaft based off of a game that i played and i wanted to see the show Mm -hmm. and you have to fucking know the anime in order to get in this i was really hoping it might be like sword art online alternative gun gale online it is not instead it's like we're talking about grief seeds we're talking about witches and we're talking about being in their labyrinth we're talking about all this shit and i'm like okay you guys are not letting people understand what's going on even yeah. I'm like, okay, I would have liked a little bit of a contextual recap into how these characters address new situations. I, my biggest issue, again, is like because I only watched the recap movies and didn't watch the series, uh, I did feel really lost. Yeah. Like, you know, like watching it like after. Like, like, I remember those words, but I have no yeah, idea what's like happening. Like, I get little bits of it and they're like, and I was like, cool. I, I don't know. There's parts of it that looks nice. But as, sure, yeah. But as a whole, I was just like, you know what? It just, it's, I feel like it's too much work for me to try to get into oh, it. Oh, completely. Yeah. And, even as a fan of the game and uh, the, of course, original series, yeah, Madoka. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm going to keep watching it mm-hmm. because I'm intrigued with the story. Essentially, 
This girl is a magical girl, and she doesn't remember what her wish was to become a magical girl. But when you sign up for that, you're fighting witches, and you're protecting towns and people, and, like, you're preventing all these curses and shit, but you could also die. Mm -hmm. And you essentially sell your soul to an alien. Um, (laughs) Madoka is a fucking crazy world, you guys, so I guess big spoilers. You wouldn't know any of that. No, because it doesn't tell you about any of that shit. And instead, they're like, all right, so the main character girl doesn't remember what her wish is. And we're trying to figure that out. And she knows that she had a sister, but the sister doesn't exist. And she's starting to put things together. And she's like, my sister was really sick. I watched the second episode because I was curious if Mm -hmm. this wouldn't work or if it would. And I'm still going to watch more because of the second episode being a little bit less busy. You know what? Something that I noticed, and this is just like um, from like, you know, just a viewer point, you know? Yeah. There was parts of the show that was super over animated. Like there's a bits where like the the super hot teachers there and uh-huh. she's just like turning and like doing these like gestures and stuff. That's just studio shaft. That, but it felt so weird because I was yeah. just like, why is she moving so much? And there's other points where like other characters are like moving and like their hair and there's like, yo, s- stop, stop moving. Stop mm-hmm. just give me a second. Hold that frame, you know. Oh and yeah. It just felt really like it, it was off putting. Um, and then, but then there's like a really cool fight when they fight this fucking grief seed or a witch or whatever. I yeah. don't know what it was. I was like, yeah. oh, that's they get really... the grief seed from the witch. I was like, oh, but, yeah. that was really cool. And then exactly. I go, oh, but that fucking teacher moving left and right. So Madoka's whole thing is it's a dark magical girl story. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have some interesting cases with characters like in their past and whatnot, or what's happening to them currently. So it's a drama that's wrapped up in it too, which is really interesting. And then you have your freaky ass witch fights, which look like a bunch of craft. Story, like diorama like type stuff yeah, yeah it's, it's really cool really really yeah. cool really weird kind of freaky and surreal and it all takes place in the real world is what it's trying yeah. to do so it's like every once in a while you go into these places that are also in the real world so you're seeing half real stuff and yeah. half like craft book stuff and it's freaky as fuck it's like it's like spooky cute like oh yeah. how cute that is but it's terrifying yeah, yeah like if you saw that coming towards you in real life you'd be like nope i'm not gonna get crushed by that giant piece of wool or that's fucking horrific like, oh look at that fucking you know jack in the box oh my god yeah Oh, but it's Jack in the Box. kind of cute, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, I, I like parts of it. I don't like other parts. If you're a fan of Madoka, that's the only reason you should check this out. Otherwise, you're safe just watching Madoka. Mm-hmm. Just watch the main series and you're fine. Or This might not be worth it. Or just watch Magical Girl Racing Project. Also watch that. Different vibes, but, you know, Magical Girls and the story's flipped. Cool. So, next up, let's talk about Science Fell in Love, So I Tried to Prove It, made by Zero G. It's based off of a digital manga. And this show, you know, people have compared it to other shows that are similar to it. Um, Wotakoi, which is the one about the nerdy-ass people that want to find love. yeah, yeah. Right? And then uh, Kaguya-sama, which is about people that are in love with each other but not willing to admit it. Love is war, And they're trying to get the other one to admit it first. Mm So this is like a combination of those is what people are saying. And I can I can I see, see that, that yeah. completely. I think yeah, that yeah. that's a great, accurate uh, description. So I'm just going to fucking use that. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't like it. I, it was, nah. you know, these two scientists and they're like, I think I love you. Let's prove it with science. And I go. But hang uh, on. The uh, the characters were kind of sexy, though. They're really hot, actually. Like, yeah, no, they were yeah. drawn very well. I just want to point that out. Yeah, no, if you want to see, like, sexy boys and girls, fucking check out the show. Yeah. Um, sexy scientists, se- too. Oh, and so you don't have to feel bad because they're smart. They're smart, yeah. You can uh, you don't have to just objectify them for their looks. They yeah. have brains. <laughs> That's what makes them so hot. <laughs> no, it just, I don't, none of it landed for me. Like It, it was very Dr. Stone, but love. It felt, it felt. Because I love love. I've talked yeah, about this all the time. You, I love you. Love love. I love love, bro. I love love. This love love. This love in the show felt a little contrived. This I was just like, <laughs> contr- calm down. So, um, because of that, because the love didn't feel realistic to me, it felt you know very, I don't know, fucking fake and for for the gag. I just didn't enjoy it. It looked really good. Yeah. I mean, if you like hot chicks and hot dudes or whatever, <laughs> boy, do I. Which I don't. And chalkboards. What's next? <sighs> Maybe the best show of the season. Maybe the worst. It depends on who watched it. Oda Cinnamon Nobunaga, made by Studio Piro. Uh, it's based off of a manga. Y- y'all know. Okay, so we all know Nobunaga, right? Yeah. You know him? Oh, I know yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, Japanese history, big war leader. Just All you need to fucking know now is he got reincarnated as a little fucking dog. Oh, my God. But he still feels like he's Nobunaga and he's like a fucking warlord. Oh, my God. That's 
funny, dude. All the like, and then all his other dog com- like companions in the fucking dog park yeah. are also reincarnated the fucking warlords. Yeah. The this show, I I think because it's this thing is such a big thing in Japan, yeah. like it's probably play better over there well that's what i'm saying like if somebody's a huge fucking fan of reincarnation jokes and yeah. it's nobunaga they're like boom Sign i'm in up. this is the show for me my uh, the thing I, I i didn't think i didn't like the show the thing yeah, i didn't no. like the most was at po- it was poorly drawn poorly oh, animated. it was like no animation and there's, what there's are you just, talking about there's just one bit where like they have a uh, like him wagging his tail and it's literally like four frames uh-huh. or three frames and it's just like it flickers back and forth it almost gave me a stroke uh it's it's not a good show um unless Unless you like Nobunaga. Thank you. Okay. And dogs, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess dogs. There was one joke that made me laugh. The, what was it? The guy, the, the fucking dog goes, I am, so his name is Cinnamon, so he doesn't like it. He's like, I'm Nobunaga. He's like, what's your name? He goes like, I am Blue Dragon or whatever. And he's like, that's great. And he goes like, and they go, hey, come on, Boo. And he goes like, what? Your name's Boo? He goes like, Boo is a very honorable name. And I was like, that's pretty funny. That's fun. For like a you second. Know, uh, I, I like, like a second. I yeah. like you joke. We'll just stick around in the show. Another, another anim- animal show. Uh, speaking of animal shows, this show's not about animals, but God, are the characters animals. A destructive god sits next to me, made by EMT Squared, based off of a manga. Whoa, man, I have been missing out on my school anime slice of life shows, and this just hits that note for me, you know? I'm ready to watch a character have, like, a best friend that he refuses to be best friends with that's also a fucking edgelord. He's the most edgelord motherfucker that's ever existed. He's like, yeah, I like demons. Yeah, I might be possessed by one. Yeah, I'm trying to protect this realm. But he's just a stupid motherfucker that's making shit up. Kind of like the girl from Wasteful Days of High School Girls. Yeah. But it's not as funny. He also has an eye patch. Uh, huge side lord. He, uh, and then our main character is just like this fucking cat dude. His, he, yeah. just, he doesn't have cat ears, but, but his hair is shaped like cat ears. Yeah. And he essentially has a tail because he has like a long chain. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> I, thought, I don't know either, man. So, so in my head, I was like, "This also counts as animals." Fucking, <laughs> I, uh, you got a demon and you got a fucking monkey. Whatever. There's one bit at the very end where like they're playing DS together and they they all their characters die, and I go, "Oh, that was pretty good, I guess." The show's not that good. Nah, I uh, I'm just really fu- I was really over it. Like I was just tuning in and I was like, "This is so fucking boring." It was bad. Mm-hmm. It just straight up. It's just a slice of life comedy, little fucking weird show. You're allowed to like it, though, if you yeah, want Yeah, it's fine. Just do your thing, man. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do mine watching Inspector, made by Brains Base. It's based off of a manga. Man, I went into this show, and I'm like, all right, let's just see. Let's, let's just see. On, I mean, yeah. people say that they like it, but I don't trust people. They also rated uh, interspecies reviewers as number four <laughs> um, of the season. And that's not true for me, so let's just see what this yeah, is. that's number one for sure. All right, so little girl. Okay, we're following a little girl right now. All right, that's fine. Oh, it turns out she's not a little girl. Actually, she's like 18 or whatever the she's fuck. She's 17. She's going to be 18. It's legal in Japan anyways. Is it? Yeah, 16, oh. I think. I don't know. You can't just say that and it'd be like you not know if it's true or not. I think that's the true for the UK, so why wouldn't it be true for Japan? <laughs> yeah, well, they, they all do listen to the Queen, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all hail the Queen. Uh, anyways, this show wound up being a great time for me. Uh, when I was done with the show, like the only thing was that I could write was like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't know if, if I really liked it, if, you know, I kind of liked it. I, I'm kind of confused. I'm interested. Yeah. To, I'm interested to watch more. What I really like is that this character, uh, is in love with this dude that i really enjoyed yeah and she's like he looks like a billy goat and she's in love with him i fucking love yeah, that yeah. was the description and she learns more about him and then it winds up being a whole thing where it's like, like a supernatural thing yeah and i'm like is this supernatural i don't really understand what's going on and as it keeps unfolding i'm like all right so it is supernatural, and there was some fucked up shit, and this guy is clearly, like, not a great guy for some reason. He's, like, he yeah, But he, he's also fine? Yeah, so she has, she's, like, the goddess of wisdom for the bunch of, for a bunch of yokai. Yeah, which are, like, with Japanese spirits, spirits and stuff like that, So yeah. they all come to her for guidance. She has a, she's losing, she doesn't have a, she has a fake eye and a fake leg. She gave those up to have her powers, which yeah. I'm not sure what her powers are yet. Also, crazy, she's just this little girl that suddenly has a stump leg and a missing eye, and they're, yeah. like, bloody, and which she's was hanging out on a park bench. Super wild. Uh, and then this. So it's intense, and it looks good. I will say for sure, it this show look good. Yeah, looks yeah. good. And the other, the other yokai, whenever they see this boy that she likes, they freak out like yeah. he's something terrible. We, he just looks like a human. Um, he eventually he looks like a billy goat, 
but yeah. But Which yeah. is why this is the next animal show. <laughs> Eventually, like, you know, he seems to have some sort of darkness around him, some sort of something he's, like, hiding, you know? What's so, he hiding? I don't know. Okay. And that's what confuses me. Uh, <laughs> but she seems to like him. And then they go on a mission together to, like, a library, and a yokai eats him and then oh, explodes. And then, his oh, bo- and then his body parts grow back. And he yeah. goes, like, yeah, I had to eat something and now i'm fucking tainted meat or something like that and i go yeah. cool i don't know where i stand with this i want to watch another episode and see where, where it is but uh i don't know i'm interested but i don't i can't say if i loved it or, or didn't people are liking it more and more okay i'm just gonna say that so i feel like it's gonna go in a positive direction but it might just be the same thing mm-hmm. and that's okay too because i was interested enough to see another episode i want to see more um haven't decided if this show is good or not because it's it did a lot of dialogue without much happening, but mm-hmm. the dialogue was, was good. good. Yeah, like her talking to him, like about her feelings. Like, yeah, I'm enjoying this a lot right now. They yeah. just every once in a while they treat these characters as they're intelligent people, and they're able to just treat the viewers as intelligent, intelligent people. people. Yeah, instead Which of we don't get that very often. Yeah, no, because they front load a lot of information on you sometimes. Fucking and you're plunderers. Like, hey, this is what these numbers mean. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> just. But in such a dumb way sometimes like yeah. that, where it's just like, we don't even have a character to introduce us to that fact. There's like, here's a full grown adult woman talking who to another. Know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Um, yeah. This show treated the viewers with respect. It builds on the, the good dialogue with an interesting, not really fight, but interesting yokai interaction i yeah. guess it was a fight she was fending off the yokai for a bit she's also good at that shit yeah she used um, the fire extinguisher you idiot yeah man it's it's i think so. i don't remember how this i don't know maybe he did it i remember it's like chomp, it chomp. was all a blur whatever uh it was a good time though i'm interested to see more just because it did a lot of things really well but i feel like it is like you said it, it's a show that could go either way really quickly yeah yeah like it could just be the same thing. It, it could be just them. It could be that ancient Megas Bride effect, you, you know? know? And you know, this, like we keep saying, this is a season of idol shows, the season uh-huh. of uh, animal shows. And I guess the last one is a season of like cop procedural cases things. Like, <laughs> there are like two. No, like there's a case, there's a fucking. I mean, three. There's yeah. a detective one. And then this one also feels like they're going to, especially like the, the fucking cover art, it looks like they're going to team up and like take on the yokai world and whatever things comes their way. Yeah. Like, it just. I mean, I fuck around with yokai. Yeah. I like spirits. I like monsters. One I'm way our, into that. One of my favorite shows is Yokai Watch. Like, yeah. you fuck with that so hard. Absolutely. Is that I a play show that game or non-stop. Game. It's a game. Both. Uh, is it both? Yeah. I didn't know that. That is just the versatility of yokai, dude. <laughs> Let's go catch some yokai. <laughs> yeah. This episode's sponsored to you by Yokai yeah. Watch. Absolutely. <laughs> Get it for your 3DS or your SD or your Game Boy Advance Color. Yep. <laughs> Okay, um Game Boy Advance color. Let's go through the let's go through the, the list and see what we're actually gonna be watching. Because that's the last one, right? Yeah, that was it. That's our that's our whole list. Okay. So what are you gonna be watching? I will be continuing to watch 227 Non Boon no Nijuni. Bo free, I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. Mm-hmm. I'll be watching uh ID Invaded. I'll be watching Pet. Mm -hmm. I'll be watching My Hero and Haikyuu. And I want to check out another episode of Asteroid in Love, but I'm not expecting to like it. It's just that cute girls doing cute things show. Yeah. You know? And sometimes you need one of those. Yeah, Yeah, every once in a while, right? Watch watch The Room Thing. That one's so much shorter. Oh, that's true. (laughs) I'm going to watch Somali and the Forest Spirit. Mm -hmm. Keep your hands off a Zokin. And I'm going to watch uh, Magia Record, Puella Magia, Madoka Magica, <laughs> Side Story, uh, and I'm going to watch Inspector. So that's like 10 or 11 shows that's a lot, yeah. that I'm going to check out. I don't expect to keep watching all of them. Like, I could imagine myself immediately dropping 22-7 or ID Invaded if it doesn't do what I want them to do. Um, I'm solely watching Magia Record because I was kind of invested in the game. It's not that fantastic. It's okay. Who knows how I'm going to feel about Somali and the Forest Spirit. Asteroid and Love is probably going to get dropped. Inspector, who knows about that. But I'm definitely watching My Hero, Haikyuu, Keep Your Hands Off, Azokin, and Bofuri. Uh, those are the four that I'm absolutely watching. Bofuri just because that is going to be my cute girls doing cute things in a video game setting. So I'm into it. Cool. I think, so I'm, I'm going to, these are the shows I'm going to watch, right? So Pet, uh... I'm going to check out 227 because it sounds interesting. And yeah. And I've, I'll let you know after episode two yeah. if it is interesting. I, I would still like to, you know, see what, for myself. Yeah, just check but, it out. Um, 
I'm gonna watch probably Darwin's game just because it's a fucking survival anime. Sure. Um, let's see what else. Maybe the Idol Show because it's kind of you know fucking uh, kiss him not me ish. Oh, that Idol yeah, Show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. The Idol <laughs> Show like, with the girl that loves the girl. Right. I'm reading through all of them. Like <laughs> which, which one? one? Yeah. Okay. If my favorite pop idol made it to the mm-hmm. Budokan, I would die. I want you to say that name every time so you talk much. about it. I'm not going to say that. I would probably give it a nickname. Okay. Uh, like Idol Show. Yeah. The Toilet Bound Show. That's yeah. not even its name. The toilet po- Bound Hanako Kun. Uh, the uh, ID Invaded. ID Invaded. Uh, let's see. Obviously, My Hero. My I'll, Hero. I'll, I might not get around to Haikyuu just because. We'll see. Who knows? You know, maybe you wa- don't want to see that cool shit. I still got to watch the third season. I like the the. Somali in the forest spirit mm-hmm. that was good right obviously keep your hands off whatever uh-huh. um let's see is that it oh and now uh, i'm gonna i think i'm gonna try to watch inspector some more so yeah. I'm, at, I'm at 10 too obviously a lot of those are gonna get dropped because yeah eventually i mean it goes quick you yeah. just count them up and then you're like for sure not watching all this <laughs> yeah i know it's not gonna happen but you know it's good to, to stick with them and see what you know takes and what doesn't because like we said inspector could by episode two or three be like this is fucking boring what's the point who knows or like we'll id invaded out. like it could just be a fucking boring mess and we just drop them so but i mean as you guys know we talk about the um, anime that we're watching week by week mm-hmm. sometimes we give a little bit of spoilers but we try not to give too much mm-hmm. um at least for each other so if you're listening to that a lot of people just skip ahead anyways I am optimistic about this season because if you remember a couple of years ago, we got My Hero Academia season two and Saga of Tanya the Evil. And then, uh, that was a bad season. Hang on. And there was one more that was, uh, Kobayashi Dragon Maid. So there were three big shows that season. Yeah. yeah. And, and we, we watched, watched one. one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so and then, fast forward <laughs> two years. Here we are. And all the other shows were like, uh, Lolita Idol shows or fucking, it was, it was, it was weird bad. shit, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So um, that's it. That's a fucking 2020 I, winter anime preview, right? Yeah. We did it. We did it. It's a lot of work. Um, if you like our logo, hit up Aaron from TurvyTops.com. If you like our theme song, check out Tom Master and it's not YouTube. Trip where we'll find us. <laughs> Jesus fuck, I've gotten pretty good at it, man. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys, for listening. You can find us on Facebook. Look up the Answer Ramen Podcast. Same thing goes for Instagram. Look up the Answer Ramen Podcast. If you want to tweet at us, tweet at Instant Ramen Pod. And you could go ahead and email us. It's a ramen podcast at gmail.com. Tell us uh, what show we should give a second chance to and like what might change because there are some which we're not even going to fucking touch. And tell us if we should maybe yeah. revisit. Like if something different, something cool happens, you're like, episode two changes everything. Yeah, let us know what you're watching, dude. Yeah. Just is like, I'm down with it. It'll be fun to find out. Uh, I will be streaming more, and I'll send out tweets about when that's happening. Uh, the only reason that you might want to watch me stream is because I like to play games with goofy people, so I'm usually not alone, and you might get some fucking weird jokes here and there, or a lot of uh, over-the-top enthusiasm, which is great. So, hey, I'll, I'll tweet out when I'm streaming. Hopefully you guys can catch it, and maybe I'll actually get a consistent schedule and start planning stuff, but with a real-ass job, we'll see. Cool. I will also <laughs> be streaming... Dude, if you streamed you doing some artwork, I would watch that. I'll stream, you know, some streamers. Boom, got it. It took me a while to figure out I was going to stream streamers. You're going to stream streamers? You're going to stream me streaming? No, like streamers, like, you know, the ones you hang on You're the wall. You're going to stream hanging streamers? You're going to do that? I'm going to hang streamers. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I'm fucking, hanging streamers. Watch that's out. That's legit. It's I'm on the same <laughs> one. So, yeah, we, we share a streaming account uh, for Twitch. Um, Anyways, thank you guys yeah, so, yeah. so much. Thanks for listening. For it's listening. a longer episode. They're always long when we have to talk about a bunch of shows. So <laughs> At a certain point, I'm like, holy fuck. We got to just okay. go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, uh, this is back from Juan. I'll see you around from Chris. Hey, Trip, don't forget. I love you now. You don't forget that, baby.